Amanja. 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 Viva IFF, viva. Viva. Viva IFF, Free State Province, viva. Amanja. Fighters. Amanja, Amanja, Viva Economic Freedom Fighters, Viva, Viva Free State Province, Viva, Fighters, we are starting with our conference, we are starting with our third provincial People's Assembly 2022, as we are starting because I think this person will need this thing, uh, his um, identity document, Mokwena Tumelo. 8903. He will come and fetch his ID here. to mail. Fighters, we are starting with our third provincial people's assembly 2022. As we have realized, we are starting uh, behind the schedule. Uh, we are doing very badly in terms of uh, uh, time and uh, everything else that has to do with that. So without a waste of time, I will ask all PCT members to come to the stage. Uh, PCT members, including region, regional chairs and regional secretaries. Thank you very much, uh, Fighter Tumelo, for fetching your ID. It's very important. Uh, we are pleading, or the leadership is pleading, with the uh, fighters that are sitting at the back to come and occupy this front seat. It doesn't appear well. Uh, all PCT, I'll get our dissolve. Oh, no, no. Why are you occupied? Huh? Sure. Sure, but, uh, can you please lead us? I can't even feel like I'm here. Like that, like that, like that. I don't think I'm spitting on a fella. I don't think I'm spitting on a fella. Lida, I'm going to fella. I'm going to No, Barry, Barry, let the people know. Barry, let the people know. There was so Fighters! Rago Pache, Rago Pache, oh, can you tell me some poor fella? Oh, Rago Pache. Okay, once we are doing that, I, I take it uh, we are ready. <laughs> Can we sing a strong uh, revol revolutionary song uh, that will lead us to the next item so that we, we, we start? Just a, one revolutionary song, fighters, as we are starting.
Amanda. Amanda. Yeah, it's fine. Let's ball city like that. Yeah. We will. We will at this stage. We will at this stage call the uh, fighter Vigi to come and sing a national anthem for us. The Enoch on Tonga one. Amanda. Amanda. Fight has seven tatero kupalero lady katiba. Haribina this song, it's a prayer. And Haribini South Africa, Ribina Africa. Nkosi si keleli Africa. Malupa kami su pondoloyo. Izwa imita.
Bantu <laughs> Elelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Amandla, Amandla, without waste of time, uh, leadership, uh, we will want to present to you who is here in this third provincial People's Assembly of the Economic Freedom Fighters in the Free State Province. The person who is going to assist us in doing that, in presenting our credentials, will be the provincial uh, deputy secretary, fighter Mapuele Di Poco. He will come and present credentials for us. Amanda. 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 My cool economic freedom fighters, my cool. Pilele Sinlo Julius Male Mare Pilele. Long live the CIC. Long live. Long live. Thank you, fellow fighters. Uh, the SG of the Mighty Movement, fellow commissars, the PCT members, RCT members, and fellow delegates. Here with me, I'd like to present the credentials for the Economic Freedom Fighters Free State Third Provincial People's Assembly. And for, let's start with the Provincial Command Team. And out of 21 PCT delegates expected, 21 are in attendance. The regional Command Teams, out of 97 RCT delegates, Expected, 95 are in attendance, and only two are not in attendance. And the breakdown is as follows. Number one region is Kharib. Kharib, RCT delegates expected were 15, and RCT delegates that are in attendance are 14. Only one RCT delegate that is not in attendance. Second region is Lijolpucho. Uh, of the RCT delegates that were expected were 20 and RCT delegates that are in attendance are 20 and no one is absent. Number three is Tabo Mfutsanya. 21 RCT delegates are expected. Only 20 are in attendance and one is not in attendance. Number four is Fezile Dabi. 21 RCT delegates are expected, and 21 RCT delegates are present. Number five, Mangau. 20 RCT delegates expected, and 20 RCT delegates in attendance. Let's go down to branch delegates. Out of 580 branch delegates expected, 512 are in attendance and 68 are not in attendance. And the breakdown is as follows. 
Region number one, Karib. We had expected 42 branch delegates, and only 35 are in present, uh, are, are in attendance, and seven is not in attendance. Number two, Lijo 134 branch delegates are expected, and 117, 117 is in attendance, 1818. It's not in attendance. Number three, Tabo Mfutsanya. 180 branch delegates are expected and 149 branch delegates are in attendance. Only 31 is not in attendance. And four, Fezile Dabi. 132 branch delegates are expected and 121 branch delegates are in attendance. Only 11 branch delegates are not in attendance. Five, Mangau. 92 branch delegates are expected. 91 branch delegates are in attendance. And only one branch delegate is not in attendance. So for credentials, provincial command team, 21 delegates are expected and 21 delegates are here. And zero Delegates are not in attendance. For regional command team, 97 delegates are expected and 95 delegates are in attendance. Only two is not in attendance. For branch delegates, 580 delegates are expected and 513 delegates are in attendance and 68 is not in attendance. So total number of all delegates that are here for branch delegates is 580 that was expected and 513 that is in present. And in total, including the leadership, total branch, total delegation that is expected is 699 and the total delegate in attendance is 629. 70 delegates are not in attendance. The, the threshold for quorum is 489, which is the 70% is present, which is is present. And so the plenary of the, the plenary of voting delegates has reached quorum and is passed it by more than 140 delegates which represents 90% delegates in attendance. Manza. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Amanda. Amanda. thank you very much. Uh, Provincial Deputy Secretary, Fighter Coach Ma Mapuele Dupok. Fighters, at this uh, moment, we will ask for a mover uh, for us to adopt these uh, credentials as the conference, as the Provincial People's Assembly of Free State. A mover, fighter. Mikey, Tandima Vonda, Watri Nketwana, Tabo Mufutsanyana, I move for the adoption of the credentials. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Fighter Tandi. Uh, can we have a seconder? Ruby Mike, that side, leader. Aita, that side. There is a hand.
This is Morena Salmon from Muhokari in Zastron. <coughs> I'm seconding for the mover. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Fighter Morena. Is there any other matter that you want to raise as delegates on these credentials? So, or should we take it that they are adopted and we close this item? Fighters, that will be a progressive move. And none. Yeah, there is no hand, so I take it it's none. Thank you very much. Can we clap hands again for the adoption of credentials? <laughs> That's very progressive, uh, fellow fighters, leadership, and, and commissars. Fighters, uh, we will quickly proceed to our next uh, our next item that will be presented by Commissar Yoli, our CCT deployee, uh, she's going to present to us rules and, producers, pro rules and procedures of this assembly. Thank you very much. Amandla. 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 Viva EFF, viva. Viva EFF, viva. viva! Viva! the CIC, viva. viva! Thank you. Greetings to the SG, greetings to fellow commissars, greetings to the outgoing PCT of Free State, greetings to the branches of all the regions of Free State, and greetings to the delegates that are here today. Um, I am tasked with reading the rules of procedure for the Third People's Assem um, Province, Provincial People's Assembly of Free State. So I'll start with the normal rules of EFF in a meeting, and they apply as follows, with the following additions. Only duly accredited delegates, or those recognized by the steering committee, will be allowed into plenary and commission sessions. Number two, all delegates will have the right to speak in plenary, and all duly accredited participants will have the right to speak in commissions. Delegates wishing to speak must indicate their intention by raising their hands. The assembly chairperson will decide on orders of speakers and shall ensure that all shall be spread, there shall be a spread of speakers. A delegate may speak in any official language. Delegates will be allowed to speak for a maximum of three minutes in the plenary session. The assembly chairperson shall reduce or extend the period. Delegates will be allowed to speak only once during the plenary session on each topic. Number nine. Each speaker, after being recognized by the chair of the session, will stand on the microphone provided on the floor and state his or her name and branch before speaking. If the chairperson calls the speaker to order, the delegate will stop speaking until the chairperson authorizes him or her to continue. Delegates wishing to raise a point of order or ask a question will do so by proceeding to the mic and raise their point of order. On a point of order being raised, discussion shall be suspended to allow the intervention of no more than one minute. Thereafter, the chairperson will give his or her ruling. All motions shall be proposed and seconded before they are approved for discussions. An, ex an, ex an exigency motion must be submitted in writing by the proposer and seconder in the steering committee. No business shall be allowed to be discussed which does not arise out of the reports or motions before the assembly, unless agreed for by the steering committee. Number 16, no other points of intervention shall be allowed except for those provided for the rules in the, of the assembly. <coughs> Number 17, voting in plenary will be by secret ballot. The revolutionary code of conduct and of discipline 
In addition to the normal rules of the EFF Constitution and Revolutionary Code of Discipline, failure to comply with the following additional rules will constitute of dis a disciplinary offence. Delegates are expected to attend all sessions and commissions and must be punctual. Delegates must refrain from any behaviour which will bring EFF or the Provincial People's Assembly into disrepute. Documents distributed at the Assembly may be confidential and delegates are not allowed to distribute such documents to persons who are not entitled to them. Any acts of sexual harassment will be punishable. Delegates are expected to respect and obey the chairperson in all sessions and commissions. This one is in bold. Delegates who disobey the instructions of the chairperson of the session will be removed from the assembly venue and have their accreditation tag confiscated. Any breach of discipline shall be reported by the steering committee which shall bring such violations to the, to the attention of the, of the assembly committee. EFF delegates shall, do, shall not do the following. A, no one shall be allowed to bring weapons at the premises of the Provincial People's Assembly. No one is permitted to bring or drink alcohol at the premises of the Provincial People's Assembly. No alcohol will be, all alcohol will be confiscated and not returned to the owner. No one is permitted to enter the assembly premises under the influence or smelling of alcohol or other intoxicating substances. No one has permission to resort to violent acts of any kind in the premises of the assembly. No one shall within the premises of the assembly act in a manner that exposes others to harm or death. No one shall within the premises of the assembly act in a manner that, has provo that, have, that provokes tension. No one shall act in a manner that undermines the procession of the assembly. No one shall within the premises of the assembly take off clothes to demonstrate anger or happiness of any kind or whatsoever or bring banners, posters or placards in support or against any candidate. No one shall within the premises of the assembly behave in a rowdy or aggressive manner. No one, shall, no one within the premises of the assembly shall behave in an abusive or disrespectful manner towards other delegates. No cause shall bear or display any posters or materials in support or against any fighter. No t-shirt or poster displaying support or any fighter against, uh, will be allowed in the Provincial People's Assembly. No one without assembly accreditation tag will be allowed in the premises of the Provincial People's Assembly. No delegate will be allowed to speak to the media about any issue in the assembly without the, author the authorization of the assembly committee. No cell phones shall be on during the proceedings of the assembly plenary session and commissions. No delegate will be allowed to sleep during the proceedings of the assembly plenary and commissions. <laughs> Rules of lobbying. All political organiza and organizational preparations of the EFF Provincial People's Assemblies are regulated by the constitution of the EFF and is, as well as the guidelines adopted by the relevant constitutional structures. The, the process seeks to ensure that all relevant structures, particularly branches, are able to engage extensively in shaping the policy decisions and political outcomes on any assembly in accordance to the mass and democratic character of our movement. The following should constitute wrongful lobbying practices and are unacceptable ways of influencing the election process. Singing of songs about preferred candidates is strictly prohibited. Writing boards, t-shirts, or any form of indication with names and candidates is strictly prohibited. Making waving sounds and con and, uh, about candidates supported or not supported by the delegates is strictly prohibited. Raising and using funds or other resources to campaign for election. Distributing money to EFF members and structures as part of campaigning for election. Production of t-shirts, posters, and other paraphernalia to promote a particular list of candidates. Promoting positions or other incentives or threatening to withhold such as a, as a means of gaining support. Using media to promote a particular list of candidates and spread malicious rumors, falsehoods, and allegations against those of whom you disagree. Leaking of confidential information to the media, secret interactions with journalists with intention to get them to write stories on, on internal organizational issues uh, or communicating internal decisions or processes to the media without due authorization. 
Negative campaigning, which relates to attacks on the integrity of other figures, both within the structures of the movement or in other forums. Suppressing honest and legitimate debate about the caliber of, of candidates in formal meetings of the movement. Manipulating membership figures or engaging in fraudulent membership recruitment practices. Allowing structures or individuals to condone violation of, of constitutional provisions and or regulations and or failing to report such violations when they occur. Using the officers, resources and staff of the EFF to enable to, or any state instru instru institutions or company as a machinery to promote a particular list of candidates. Using violence, intimidation and threats to coerce those who hold a different view. Setting up structures outside the organization to promote or lobby for a particular con candidate. Convening meetings to discuss leadership issues under the false pretense that they are organized and they are organized constitutional structures. Production and distribution of documents and pamphlets not, not approved by the structures of the organization will not be allowed. In line with these rules, all members without exception must abide by the constitution of the EFF. The rules and regulations and revolutionary code of discipline as adopted or amended from time to time, as well as all policies and decisions properly adopted and made in terms of the constitution. Accordingly, all EFF structures and members should ensure that these guidelines, rules and procedures are adhered to and enforced in the run-up to and on the provincial people's assemblies. In particular, any lobbying that violates the EFF constitution and brings the good name, image, and integrity of the EFF into disrepute will be subject to disciplinary inquiry in line with the Constitution and Code of Conduct. Lastly, lobbying shall stop once the process of election, of electing the new provincial command team has been concluded at the Provincial People's Assembly. Once the new provincial command team is elected, it becomes the duty of all EFF members to unite and rally behind the newly elected leadership regardless of the preferences we had before the elections. Amanda. Amanda, thank you very much, uh, Commissar Yoli. Uh, those are directives, uh, fellow fighters, leadership and commissars. We are not going to engage in any discussions. At this uh, moment, I will request the Provincial Student Command uh, to lead us in a revolutionary song as we invite Deputy Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighter Student Command to come and give us a message of support. Amanda. Amanda, 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 uh, fellow fighters, leadership and commissars, this is a, a national leadership. Can you all stand up and see? The, I was inviting provincial student command so that it welcomes its leadership. So let's support it to welcome its leadership. Who happens to be also our leadership? Amanda. I 
Kalentwe Kalentwe siye Awe mama Mama we ma Awe mama we mama we ma Thank you very much to see Amanda Awe tu Viva EFF stage Viva Viva EFF Viva Aikule EFF free state Aikule Aikule EFF Aikule No thank you very much fighters um first and foremost I'd like to greet uh, the national leadership of the EFF led by CIC president Julius Malema and SG Marshal Lamini um, I'd also like to greet uh, the outgoing provincial leadership led by Ukomisa Mandisa Makesin, who is the only provincial chairperson in the EFF. I'd also like to greet... <laughs> I'd also like to greet the regional command teams of all regions and the PSCT leadership of the EFFSC uh, in attendance and all the delegates in attendance. Uh, my name is Kanya Pungane, the, uh, the Deputy Secretary General of the EFF Students Command. Um, well, mine is short and simple, which is just to give a message of support from on behalf of the EFF Students Command. Firstly, as the Student Command, we would like to thank the outgoing provincial leadership for their dedication and commitment in growing the EFF in the Free State, and for their support, for the support they gave us uh, as the Student Command, doing their level best in assisting us during the Sofundang County campaigns, uh, to getting us lawyers when we got arrested and suspended. Thank you very much, uh, leadership. We will forever remain grateful for all the support and care you've shown us. We are hopeful that you will continue to work for the EFF in growing the organization as we have an appointment with the future. As the student command, we are the voice of young people in higher education institutions and communities in the free state and across the country. As there is no alternative political solution, it is for this reason that we believe and call on all delegates to ensure that there are young people that are elected into the PCT, to ensure that there is a generational mix and that issues of young people within our, community, within our communities and the province are attended to by young people who can relate. In the, in the Fourth National Student Assembly of the EFF Students Command, we resolved that for one to be a member of the EFF Students Command, they must be a member of the EFF and register to vote with the Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa. Uh, this reaffirms the EFF's theme that indeed student wars, student wars are community wars. So as we have been winning SRC elections all over campuses uh, across the country, we have a responsibility as the student command to convert our SRC victories into the uh, electoral victory of the EFF. Uh, in closing, I would like to suggest that we must come out of this assembly alive and united. We must be ready to dispatch leaders who are cap capacitated and ground forces who will be able to articulate the aims and the ob objectives of the organizations and who will be able to speak reasons as to why people must vote for the EFF as it, as it remains the only hope for Africans. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Amanda, thank you very much, uh, DSG. Um, Fighter, as you look at your program, we are at a critical and important uh, moment whereby I will call uh, Commissar Piwaba uh, to come and present to us that item, item number seven. So with a revolutionary, revolutionary song, we will call uh, Commissar Piwaba to come and do 
that important task for us. Amanda. I get to be. Amanda, Amanda, I cool EFF, I cool, I cool EFF, I cool, I cool EFF, I free state, I cool, Amanda. Uh, thank you very much, Deputy Chairperson, uh, fighters, uh, leadership of the province and the CCT. My task here is very quick and fast, um, and it is to introduce to you fighters. Our, the person who will be giving our keynote address, rather the official who will be doing that. Um, it's a rather very simple task, to be honest. Because the one thing about the EFF is that the kind of leadership and the caliber of leadership that we have is such that when you are told or you are asked to come and introduce our leadership, you do so with pride and confidence because our um, I stand before you fighters because we know that as the members of the EFF, and leadership of the EFF were led by an organization or by leadership that is young and dynamic, but at the same time, they are very old and wise and mature. Fighters, I come to you to introduce the fact that Nyayazuba, Imoto, especially those that have grown up in the rural areas and townships, even if I in a steering wheel, even if it does not have doors, but there is no car that can move without the engine. I stand before you today to introduce to you the engine of the organization, the chief administrator of the Economic Freedom Fighters, the biggest and the most radical organization in the African continent. I introduce to you Uno Bala Chikelele of the EFF, Commissar Marshal Zamini. Amanda! Amanda, 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 Long live the commander in chief, long live, long live the commander in chief, long live, long live the commander in chief, long live. Gina Fighter Gina Viva EF Viva Viva EF Viva I saw me fighter I saw me I saw me fighter I saw me I saw me fighter I saw me 
Kula IFF Freestyle Kula 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 Amanda Thank you very much Commissar Piwawa Matokwe who is a convener uh, of deployees here in the Free State Province. Uh, we greet the other commissars as well. Uh, let's take this opportunity and greet the leadership of the province led by the Chairperson Commissar Mandi Samakesini. Let's greet all the leadership of the regions that are here with us, led by the original chairpersons. Let us create the student command that is amongst us, led by their DSG. And then finally, let us take this opportunity to welcome you and greet you, the reliable ground forces of the EFF in Free State. Because you are the real engine of this organization here in Free State. We have demonstrated that since 2013, when the first conference of the EFF, when this organization came here to start building the structures, when you responded to the clarion call, in 2013, some of you, you went to Soweto, Utino Cholum Kombandela, on what is to be done about this country. We are very happy that some of you are still here. It shows that you knew Uguti, why you responded to the clarion call. It was not about yourselves, but it was about the forgotten people of Free State. <laughs> we are happy to see Chepes in the faces. I was saying to the Chepes, I'm happy to see the faces that have been here for the longest time, but some of them, they must know that they cannot sing like Fighter Mkave. He must know that he cannot sing, but he can do other things. But we are very happy to see you fighters and to be amongst you on this uh, important meeting of the EFF. This is the assembly of the EFF that the Central Command Team, with the powers given to it, that it said that we must come and convene on this weekend. And we have received reports from yesterday in the way you conducted yourselves, that when the directive from the leadership said you must leave your homes early so that you can come and register and then we can start the conference in time, you responded to that call. I must say to you, out of all conferences, you are one of the conferences that met the deadline in terms of registration time. So the delays that led us to officially start today, they are not of your doing. We had delays with our service providers who could not get what we are asking them to do. But it's a nature of a revolution we keep building. But you have demonstrated that and you, as things stand now, we don't have any report of misbehavior or some tendency that is foreign to the revolution. So we want to say to you, we must continue conducting ourselves in that order, in that fashion. The president and the commander-in-chief is going to be here tomorrow, 4 o'clock exactly, to come and give us some kombandela on how we're going to take over this province come 2024. <laughs> so we're saying this so that you know that um, seven zero that you're coming here to do. It's not about personalities. It's about the EFF. Yes. Um, seven zero that you are coming here to do as delegates. It's about the mandate of the branches. Um, seven zero that you came here to do. It's about the mandate of the communities where we come from. Where here in Mangaung, the sewer is running 365. A, a day is just part of what we do on daily basis. When you go to town, you know that you're going to meet the sewer just running up and down. 
you are here to represent those communities. The ones that are in Paris and everywhere else in Velcom and Kwakwa and everywhere else here in Free State that are still subjected to exploitation and paid low wages in the farms, you are here to represent those people. Because every time they see this organization congregate coming together, they always have hope that tomorrow it's going to be better. So it can't be that when we come here and then we forget about those people. So that in our deliberations this weekend, we must know that we're going to resolve that how are we going to deal with the issues that confront our people here in Free State. We are one of the provinces, when we talk of infrastructure, there are no roads in Free State. There is no water in Free State. There is no electricity in Free State. They have stolen every little thing that belongs to the majority of our people, the people of the ANC in Free State. And we are the only hope here in Free State. That's why the ANC has collapsed. And these people, when they see you coming here, they've got that hope that you are coming here to deal and deliberate on how are we going to resolve their issues. And that should be the spirit of this conference. We must participate in commissions so that we can come with clear resolutions on what do we seek to achieve in the next four years with the election of the leadership that we are going to elect here. It must never be about personalities. It must be about the EFF. It must never be a matter of life and death. It must be about the EFF. Because we must remind each other as we meet here today to say, what is the EFF? What did we resolve in 2013? What did we give a definition of this organization? So that as you move as a fighter, as a leader, as a ground force, at all material times you are grounded on the founding manifesto of this organization, what is the EFF? an anti-imperialist organization, anti-racist organization, an organization that brings together militant and radical fearless fighters, an organization that brings together lobby groups, an organization that, give, that brings together community groups, that, gives, uh, that brings together community organization, lobby groups, grassroots formations, a protest movement, that's who we are, a protest movement, a vanguard of our own communities, meaning that in our communities, they must never feel that they don't have a line of defense when they are fighters in those wars. We must remind each other and take stock as we meet here, Chairperson, to say four years we meet here again because leadership, we must come back and account. And we are very happy that you are here as a PCT to come and give back a report. Because leadership is about taking responsibility and coming back and giving a report. You can't be a leader that does not give a report. If you don't give a report as a leader, you must know that you are a chance taker. If you are a leader that is scared of going back to the same delegates to come and account, then you must know that there is no difference between you and those that have sold this country out. Because the conflict between us and those that have sold this country out, it started by asking for a report. Because when they mobilized our parents and everyone else since 1912, and they said to us, our oppressor is a white man, he has taken our land here in Free State, he has taken our mineral resources, he has taken the economy. We live in poverty. We live like pigs. In, we, we live in squatter camps because the white man has committed genocide, has brutalized and killed our parents and our forefathers, and they've taken everything that belongs to us. There was no confusion about that. But after 78 years, when they were told that they were called in Pretoria to be given new titles, that now they are ministers and presidents and councillors and premiers. When our people, they ask for a report back, 
Instead of coming back and give a report to say, what happened to the white man? Has he brought our land back? Do we have our minds back? Are we in charge of the economy? Are we participating in the economy of this country? Because they went to dine and drank alcohol with the, with the enemy. They came back and then they said to us, no, leave that one. The enemy now with poverty, unemployment and inequality. We said, no, those ones we know, we grew up like that. We knew why we were poor. We know why we were poor. Because our land has not been returned to us. The struggle, the revolution in the African continent, here in this territory of South Africa, it was about the land. Until that question has been responded to, we must never shake and we must never listen to any statement or any song or any speech that is going to say to us, let us forget about the land. Because we know our forefathers, why they started the revolution in this country. It was about the land. Until the land has been restored, there is no other discussion in South Africa. Even in our own communities, where we stay, we can't have any other discussion until we resolve the issues of land. We need to go back to the basics. So we need, as we are building this organization in our communities, to go back to this checklist. And as a fighter, as a brand chairperson, secretary, BCT, when you see members of a branch, before you can sit and start talking about names and gossip amongst each other and insult each other, you must go back and say, chairperson, secretary, can you give us that Box, we want to tick and check that does this branch of ours comply with the founding manifesto of the EFF? Does it comply with the founding manifesto of the EFF? Do we sit in a branch meeting and say we are a constitutionally constituted branch of the EFF? Does it talk to what the EFF is about? Does in our branch do we have lobby groups? Do we have churches as part of our our branch, do we have a community organizations as part of our branch or it's just individuals who are coming here in the EFF, coming as individuals you don't lead any sector of any community you stand and say we're well, a branch all of us seated here hundreds of us, we don't belong to any sector in our community there is a community of farm workers. None of us belongs in that community of farm workers where they are organized and fighting the struggle of farm workers. Why are we not part? Because that's what the EFF says we must do. There is a community of people of Atalem, John Dolo, that organize themselves because they are fighting their struggle on the issues of houses. Do we have some of our leaders represented there? Do we belong to all the structures in our own communities? Do even the members of this community know about us? So we need to go back to the basics. When we have these meetings, these are meetings of the EFF. So all of us, as we are here, 629 delegates, as the Deputy Secretary has said, so it means all of us are going to speak. No one is going to leave this meeting without speaking. And we've got a way of tracking you. So if tomorrow in the afternoon and you have not spoken, the other delegates will go remaining together because we want you to speak. Because we are sent here to speak so that we can build this organization. We want to hear your views. We want to hear your contributions on how do we build this organization. We don't want you to only speak when you are talking about names. The time of names is going to come. It's here in the program. But can we speak about building this organization? Can we speak on how do we make sure that come 2024, the people of this province, they've got an organization that is going to truly represent their aspirations. The young people of this province who don't have access to quality education, the young people in this province who in the rural schools, they still go to the bush to relieve themselves because there are no proper toilets in those schools can they rely on us and say, when we see them, they represent our aspirations? The young people here in this province who continue to die on the road with Shaiswa is mortal because the money for scholar transport has been stolen by the ANC government 
and our young children they must walk kilometers so that they can get the education that they were promised for are we going to deal with those issues to say what are the issues of the scholar transport here in free state because it has collapsed today we are in a country where crime is just part of what we do we don't even get shocked but how do we make sure that from this conference we take those resolutions that we're going to make sure that at least our young children they are safe are we going to speak about those who have passed metric here in free state that their only hope now is to go and work for pep stores or rhino or checkers or work in a farm or anywhere else even when they've got aspirations of feathering their education to go to institutions of higher learning but they could not do it because they don't have access to money because here in south africa education is for sale those that don't have money those that their parents cannot afford they are excluded in the institutions of higher learning i'm going to speak about them those are people that we must represent those are the people that we need to talk and say how do we resolve the issues of unemployment how do we resolve the issues of women here in the province of Free State? We need to go back to the basics and ask ourselves, what does our organization say so that we can be an organization that is going to shape? Because if we don't go back to the founding manifesto of the EFF, the constitution, we're going to be a shapeless organization. What does our constitution say? about the leadership of the EFF. The constitution of the, e the organization, when it talks about leadership, it says all EFF leaders are elected democratically and transparently. Are you, as you are seated here, as brain chairpersons and secretaries and delegates and your PCT, were you elected democratically and transparently? Or are you elected so? Because we have to build this organization because if we don't go according to the constitution of this organization, we're going to be a shapeless organization. Our leaders, it means they must make sure that everything else they do, they do as per the founding manifesto of the organization that says Collective leadership, it means leaders at all times, they must consult the collective before engaging on activities and programs that have organizational consequences and they must not act as individuals. Do we see it as a BCT? Do we still see those BCT meetings? Because the constitution of the EFF, it says the BCT, the branch command team, must meet every fortnight. Do you meet every fortnight or you only meet as a branch when we are about to elect delegates to go to an RPA or a PPA or an NPA, but we have never met as a PCT, as what the Constitution is saying. Are we compliant? Are we the branches of the EFF? Because if we don't pay attention to those details, we're going to be a shapeless organization. It's an amuba. You don't know what you can do. Uh, where is the back, where is the front because they have become a shapeless organization and it's very easy even for us to become a shapeless organization if we don't pay attention to detail, if we don't become disciplined and be rooted in the founding documents of this organization that says who are we as an organization we are an organization that part of the principles of the EFF is that we subscribe to a principle of democratic centralism. A principle of democratic centralism that firstly there must be a democratic consultation. Once democratic consultation has happened, a decision is taken. Once that decision is taken, a decision of the majority binds the minority. A decision of the higher structure binds the lower structure. Are we still that organization here in Free State? Oh, when the CCT and the PCT, they come to Tabo Mufutanyana and tell you to say, this is the direction of how we're going to behave and present ourselves in this 
cancel today as the leadership of Chabo Mufutsanyana we saying we are the region ourselves you can't tell us what happened to democratic centralism what happened to democratic centralism which leadership and which organization are you working on we need to have honest conversations here. That's what we are here for. That's why I said all of you are going to speak. Because if you don't speak in this meeting, you are going to speak on, on WhatsApp and Facebook, it means you are ill-disciplined. Because we must speak here and speak the truth so that we can build each other as an organization. And say, fellow fighter, look like we have been singing for the longest time. We have forgotten who we are. These four years allows us that opportunity that let us all come down. Let us take the noise outside. Let's come down as revolutionaries and say, what does this organization that all of us, we said we subscribe to its constitution, what does it say? So that when you take that decision, at all times you must ask, am I still in line with what the EFF represents? Are we complying to the mandates? Are we accounting? Are we giving reports as regions, as provinces? As PCT deployees, do we still go to the regions where we are deployed? Or the last time they heard about us, it was 2018 when we were elected as PCT. We have never been to regions to go and look after those branches to make sure that we do the work that is done. It's here, it's in the founding manifest of the EFF that all leaders, they must make sure that they follow the mandates of the organization. The mandate of the organization is that you are a provincial leader. So you are deployed in the entire province of Free State. When you are saying you are deployed in the entire province of the Free State, we are not saying you are a supervisor who just arrives at, a PC, at an RCT office and make a U10. That's supervision. We are talking of ground forces who are working. When you are deployed in a, sub, in a region, then in Kharib, you go to Kharib, you work with those branches, you understand why is that region struggling? Go and working with the branches and listening to branches. Because we don't want supervisors, we want leaders. Leaders who go to the ground and work with the branches. Not leaders who sit and supervisors and bosses so that they, all they can do is to criticize us as branches. We want leaders who come to us and work with us. Where we are in fault, our leaders they must be with us in branches and say, so no power branch, the minutes are not done this way. Regional secretaries, have you ever seen minutes coming from branch secretaries? You start a term, you finish a term, you are regional secretary, you have never seen minutes coming from branches that are supposed to be sitting every fortnight. Which regional secretary are you and who are you representing? Then it's very easy to stand and say, no, our branches, you know our branches are dysfunctional. Have you gone there? Does this fighter who just go, recently got elected for the first time in his life or her life as a branch secretary, have you went there just to sit with this fighter and say, fight? Now I was inducted. This is how you write minutes. This is how you write an agenda. There's opening and welcome. This is how you write an agenda. Have we done that? Because it must not be easy for leaders of higher structures to just point fingers. We must go there and make sure we build these branches. And that is what is expected of us. That is why if you are an RCT leader or a PCT leader, and then when we ask you about your deployment, you tell us about a town. Why are you deployed in Velgo? No, can you give us words? So that we can go to these words and ask them that have we seen this person? Tomorrow when they say they don't know you, and then you get shocked. We need to go back to the basics, fighters. This province, it's up for the taking. There is no excuse, and I'm going to come to your commissions because I want to understand why are we still getting defeated by DA in this province? There is no excuse. We need to go back 
to our branches. We need to go back to our communities. We need to go back and be disciplined and build the EFF and make sure that this is the EFF that the founding manifesto of the EFF says it should be. It must not be an employment agency, this organization. It must not be an employment agency. It must not be an organization that its branches only exist because you know that now we're going to a conference. If I lose this conference, I'm not going to be a counselor. So that's the only time you get active. We're turning our organization into an employment agency. This is a vanguard movement. It's a protest movement. When it says you're a protest movement, it means exactly that. Have you ever been into a protest as a leader of the EFF that you are leading a protest movement? Which protest have you ever attended? Because you like taking pictures, right? You must go to your archives, all of you, and check on your Facebook because you post pictures like you are in Bola Magazine. Go back and just check that is there a picture of me found in a protest as someone who's part of a protest movement? Are you that reliable fighter in the community? Do they know you, our counselors? Are we known in our communities that we are counselors of the EFF? Do we lead protests? Or oh, we have been, we have assimilated and we have, part of, we have become part of the system. Because some of our counselors, some of you here, you are part of a protest movement, an organization that makes no apology about the issues of land. But when we put you there in council, you are the one who come and tell us about motions when we are saying, we are occupying this piece of land. You come and tell us that no weight fighters has a motion because we have sold out inside there. When did we say go to the council and talk about motions? Because we said, go there and tell us that we demand land and we demand this land today. Today you are telling us about motions. No, there's going to be a meeting, fighters who can't occupy land. You are telling us about illegality. You know, fighters, this one is illegal. Uh, when we were together here, we were not a council. We were, all of us, we agreed that this is a nice piece of land. And we've been waiting, we want to build our houses. We are tired of squatting and sleeping next to our parents. We are a younger generation. There's land here. Now some of us, we even got jobs. But we're not going to go and pay a white man on a land that is stolen. We need sites so that we can build our own houses here. And then you tell us that, no, it's illegal. I'm very glad about the fighters of Fezeli Derby. There's a township there that is owned by us. They must be all, they might, it must be like that throughout the whole province. Because you have done it. Because they did not sell out. They did not say as the leaders, no, 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 the motion. We send you to represent us, not to read motions. They co-opt there through a buffet. Now things have changed. Even the way you speak, they even say to you, when the organization is under attack in free state, when they're calling our leaders' names, they're insulting the organization, you keep quiet because they've co-opted. Now you are Mrs. Wright and Miss Wright, and they even say to you, ah, you see, Wena, we are, we are better than that president of theirs. You see, Wena, we are a good leader in the community. You even walk wearing a suit, you don't know that you are selling out. Because now you are misright. They say, ah, oh, you see, when are you even educated? Leave those ones. They are not like you. They are not like you. Because you are already engaged on a different agenda. We need to go back to the basics. That should be what brings us together here. To say, the way you are walking, you are not walk a Congolese. I to walk a fight you are born. You walk a Congolese, you born. You are walk a I can only walk here fighter. Because the walk here fight to my city is your title, I'm not going to say it. So I'm going to say it. You walk a lot, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I feel like I'm going to be able to see it. I'm going to be able to see it. I'm going to be able to see it. And I'm safe at home. We must be those leaders. Community leaders. Lead in our own communities. Not to hijack community protests. When we're saying 
or a vanguard movement, a protest organization. It doesn't mean we must go and hijack community protest. Because some of you, you hide in your communities. They don't know that you are councillors every time now. Worse that you are a councillor, you've got money to buy loud ailer. The only time you get involved in a community protest is to hijack it through a loud ailer. When the community has already closed the road, when the community has already said, no one is going to pass, a, pass here until we've been given water. Then you are a councillor of the EFF. Even when we call you to say, why are roads closed in Mangaung? You say, I am not sure what's happening. <laughs> and then later you arrive with a, with a loud hailer. Because our communities are poor and they don't have loud hailer. So you're the first one to arrive and then you go to Fran. Because the loud hailer is yours, you start addressing. Because you've hijacked the community protest. We need disciplined fighters. At the center of the revolution is discipline. Discipline in the EFF is not a sideshow. Discipline in the EFF, you don't choose what time to be disciplined. Discipline in the EFF, you don't choose who's speaking to be disciplined. Discipline in the EFF, it doesn't matter who says what. As long as the EFF, you remain disciplined. Not this selective discipline. Because I don't like this one, so I can't listen to them. If it's PCT, that's PCT, you listen to them. You don't say, I choose this PCT to listen to in our region. Only send the provincial secretary or a provincial chairperson to come and tell us when there's a PCT member. They are giving you the directive of the organization you comply. That's what discipline is about. We don't select, you look at who's coming. If it's an RCT member who doesn't have a car, I will. Don't listen. We listen to this one because it's got the potential of KFC and alcohol. That is leadership. Discipline. Discipline meaning that when the organization issues a directive, the central command team says to you, 2022 is a year of the branch. Let's go and recruit towards one million membership. You do exactly that. If your city idea and your branch has not met its target, you must know that you are ill-disciplined. So to your secretaries and everyone delegates, if the secretaries are not here, just send them a WhatsApp and then ask them, Smeranjan, you on this one million membership? If they say, no, we have not met our target, you must start knowing because I'm one of the ill-disciplined. Because discipline is adhering to the mandates of the revolution. We are building a revolution. Sometimes when we say this is a revolution, it's a suga. In no time you think we are playing. We issued a directive, the central command team issued a directive when that company called Cliques, they went to come and insult our black women, insult their hair. We said, let's go and close all the Cliques shops here in South Africa, we're just showing the white monopoly capital that we can bring it to its needs any day we decide. We issue that directive. To some of you, you fail to close those clicks because you are not disciplined. You fail to close those clicks. Some of the clicks here in these towns with races, they were open. Because you are not disciplined, you did not launch the branches during the time when we said go launch a branch. Now when it's time to close clicks, when the commander-in-chief has issued a directive that ground forces of the EFF from Cape to Musina is a shutdown, you have found one thing because you were on your own. You have found one thing because those that you were supposed to build this organization as the constitution is saying that a branch of the EFF must have VD coordinating structures. There were no other members of the EFF on the other VDs. The only branch of the EFF, it exists in your VT because the branch of the EFF is amongst you as friends. You don't even ask yourself to say, why we don't even have one fighter from that VT? Then when it comes to the day of elections, you get shocked because you believe in miracles. Because if you are revolutionaries, you believe in science. You would have known that we only exist in this VT. So during the time of election, no one is representing the movement on that side of the ward, on that corner of the ward. We need to get it right, fighters. It has to come right. It has to come right, otherwise our people, they've given us an opportunity to exist. 
We exist because our people, they've allowed us to exist. That's why when we go to their homes, they open their doors to listen to us. We must stop being entitled. When that founding assembly said, this liberation movement is going to disappear with time, we need to have an alternative because in the disappearance of this former liberation movement, our people in South Africa, they're going to be leaderless. We need to create the leader of society. This revolutionary movement, we never agreed of entitlement. Because there's never been a meeting here in Free State that our people, when they're no longer voting for ANC in Mangaung, automatically they're going to vote for EFF. That's why they're not voting, because we're not speaking to them. We're not speaking to them because we're not organized. We have to be organized. We have to go back and build stronger branches. We need to understand what is happening, what is expected of us. We need to understand the structures of the EFF as the Second National People's Assembly deliberated and discussed that what should be an ideal branch of the EFF. An ideal branch of the EFF must be led by revolutionary fighters who've got capacity to lead our people and our communities wherever they are. Are you that chairperson? Do our people know that you are a chairperson of the EFF there, in your own ward? Sometimes the ward is very big. Eh? Do they know in your VD that you are a chairperson of the EFF? Let's leave a ward. It might be too big. Do they know in your VD that you are the chairperson? Oh, it's you and me, your friends. That says, no, I'm a chairperson, but the entire VD, they say, no, there's no EFF here. Because a chairperson is always absent. A chairperson is a coward. A chairperson is lazy. Our chairperson is weak, is scared. He's never been found on any community activity. Even as a Mwabeni, they don't find you. Even if it's a party, they don't find you. Good ball and Allah or netball, they don't find you. You can't be found anywhere, but the EFF says the EFF must lead by the all-rounders. Are you an all-rounder as a leader of the EFF? If they don't know you in your video, okay, maybe it's fine. Do they know you in your own street? That you are a leader of the EFF, they don't know you in your own street. Okay, the street might be too big. Do they know you at home? That you are a chairperson of the EFF at home. You know, some of you, when we do Red Friday, only after Red Friday, when we're tired, we go and meet somewhere in a corner and say, Chairperson, I bring water, man, and bread. We want to sit here and start singing revolutionary songs and all of us. And then until your parents, they come coming back from home, or your husbands, or your wives. They come and then they stop on a four stop. Ah, Marshal Damini, now we are EFF. <laughs> your own partner. That's why if we say, let's go and conduct elections, we go to an election with a branch that is launched with 100 members. We get one vote. Because your families, they don't even know that you are leaders of the EFF. Even if we can say, okay, because it looks like you're going to lose elections in this ward. Let's go and take elections in your VT. You know you might lose. Let's take your street. You no, know you might lose. Let's go home. And I call IEC to say, can you bring a ballot box here? We want to vote at home. Yes, fighters, Stalo. That every day you insult us, we start off the branch. How many of you are here? No, it's me, my wife, and my children. Oh, there's five of you. Okay, secret ballot. <laughs> ANC and EFF. At home, you own a house. ANC, four votes, one vote EFF. <laughs> because even then, they don't know that you are a leader of the EFF. And then you say you are an activist. You can't even be an activist at home. Because you are scared. The revolution is not for cowards. Revolution is not for the lazy. The revolution is not for the weak. You must be fearless. You must continue fighting and fighting for our own people. Branches of the EFF, an ideal branch of the EFF. You went to BBAs now. When we finish here, I'm going back to the office and look at all of you who were elected as treasurers. Because the discussion documents in the Second National People's Assembly said the branch of the EFF must have the capacity of mobilizing resources, getting a bus, uh, putting members of the EFF in a bus, give them t-shirts and give them food and transport them to, to attend the activities of the organization 
uh, either at a regional level, provincial, or national level without seeking any assistance from the higher structure. Next year, we are turning 10, Johannesburg, 9th anniversary. Treasure of a branch. Uh, our branch is going to arrive there. Or you're going to wait and listen and say, no, we're waiting for the pass from national. Regional treasure, our branches. Because that's what it's saying. That the region must be led by those and the region must have the capacity of transporting members of the EFF to attend venues and e attend events of the EFF without seeking assistance from national level. Can you take the fighters in your region as a regional secretary, the whole RCT, without calling the province and say, hey province, what are the passes? Where are they coming from? Can the province do that? Can the province take us to celebrate our anniversary without calling the TG at HQ? Are we then the right PCT? Are you a PCT member that after you got elected, you are telling us that state, uh, free state is vast? You said you are available. Immediately we elect you tomorrow. You must go to that side towards that uh, border of uh, KZ and Bergville there in Quark. In those areas, it's too far. You know uh, fighters, I'm unemployed. So you are looking for a job, not to be a PCT man. So let us tell you now, there are no jobs of being a PCT. So even when every discussion that you are having, even if you told your family that I might be elected as a PCT, I'm available, this poverty at home, it might disappear, it won't. Because job seekers have destroyed this organization. Opportunists have let down this organization. Because we need people who are available. Not officials. The 25 battalion of the PCT. All of them, they must have the same capacity of serving his ass on this province. Can't finish a term that you don't even know this person is a PCT member for four years. How are we going to know you because you're not on the ground? We're not on the ground. It's only home affairs who will know you through ID. Our sons, we don't ask for ID. We ask for groundwork. Are you on the ground? Because that's the only time we'll know about you. Anything else, it's a by the way. Are we having those kind of leaders? Because we must not accept. We must not accept. We must not accept any excuse of not servicing the revolution including your poverty. Some of you are saying, no, you know, I can't uh, go to my deployment because I'm a teacher. So now, because of your selfish interest and protecting your family and your salary, the entire community of Free State must suffer because you cannot service them because of your job. Why don't you keep your job and allow revolutionaries to service our people? Why don't you keep your job and allow the ground forces to service our people. Why do you feel it's important that as a PCT member, now that you've been given this responsibility to go and build the organization so that 2024 we can take over this province and this leadership of the EFF here in the province can create thousands of jobs for people of free state, but we can't do it because when you're selfish, you got a job. So the rest of us, we must remain unemployed. Because when I've got a job, so the whole organization must come to a standstill. No, keep your job. We must accept some, not all of us can be leaders. You know, there are fighters in a, on social media, on Twitter, there are fighters, we know them. Solid, they defend the organization 24 hours. They've never irritated anyone of being a leader. Others have got thousands of followers. They know their position, and they are honest like that to say, no, we are members of the EFF and our party to defend the organization in this way. So we're not going to go and say we're leaders because we don't have that capacity. Why do you want to be a leader when you know that you don't have that capacity? Why don't you just stay and contribute in that corner where you are? Because it's still a contribution to a revolution. But to say you are a leader, you are available, and then you are elected tomorrow, we are told that, no, actually in the entire PCT is only officials that are working. The rest of them are unemployed. This one is employed. This one has got this problem. This one is wife. That one is girlfriend. That one is this and this. We're not interested. The only thing that we, an excuse we're going to listen to for not servicing this movement is death only. 
When they say a fight has passed away, we accept. That's why I can't go to his deployment. Anything else, we must know that it's a sellout position. So fighters were here to deal with those issues. We're here to take reports from the PCT on what we resolved uh, four years later, what has happened, how much work have we built uh, as this province, and what is it that we can do to make sure that we build a stronger EFF here in Free State. That's what we are here to do, to discuss about the issues and policies of the EFF on what needs to happen in the Free State. We need to talk about the economy of Free State, which are areas uh, which are uh, areas that you can participate how is the economy of free state uh, organized so that when we go to our people we understand the province so that you just don't move from here and you go to a place and then you call a community meeting and say no 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 we're coming from a conference because you don't understand the dynamics and the basics of that word and community where you come from and then you start saying to them you know if you vote for me I'm nationalizing here yeah, uh, so that I'm nationalizing this mine they say there's no mine here there's no mine here where we are. But there's, a co there's a, an economic activity. So if we understand the terrain, we understand the province, that's what we're going to deal with to say on the north and the south, east and west of the free state, what happens? What are the issues that are immediate and long term without moving away from the policies of the EFF to say these are immediate interventions that the EFF can do to make sure that our people, while well, we are still fighting a bigger battle, of uh, chasing and making sure that we march towards economic freedom in our lifetime. But what happens in our communities? What are the jobs there? Why are the factories? The factories there in Mangaung, they've been closed. What is it that the EFF can do to come and open some of these factories that are here? What is it that we need to do in the occupation of land? Some of you, you've got skills now. It can't be that when we talk of occupation of land, we just want to come and do houses. If you want to do houses, there's no problem. But the fighters of a facility, you went to build a township. Your next project now, you must go and occupy land to build factories for our own fighters to get into business and sustain themselves and work for themselves. That should be your next project. So we've built houses now. We're taking that one. Because this fighter has finished his, uh, he went to the Tivet College. Now we can build a small factory here where you can build windows and doors and everything so that we can start getting into trading. Fighters of Tabobu Futsanya and fighters of Lijuali Putwa, there are farms there. Once you've occupied those houses, you must not stop there because some of you have went to school, you understand farming, you are interested in farming, either it's goat farming or cattle farming or chicken farming or sheep farming, but when you occupy, you want to go to houses. Go and occupy land and tell Father Merve that we are interested in doing cattle farming, we are cutting half of this farm and we want the side of the bowl because we don't have money for the bowl. We are getting into cattle farming as the fighters of free state, as the fighters of this region. As the fighters of this sub region lead our people on immediate deliverables, they are there. They just need us to think out of the box. So that's what we need to do. We need to sit here and work and think as we go back and say, in this region, these are immediate and tangible and real issues that we can, we can deal with to solve the problems of our people. Our people, they've got challenges now. They can't wait. Our people, they got challenges now. We must go and resolve those challenges today. We must not be an organization of long speeches and songs and everything else. We must be an organization of immediate deliverables. Our people, they want land now. Our people, they want jobs now. Our people, they want to have access to education now. We must be able to provide those solutions. Because if we don't do that, is what's going to happen when we went to 2021 uh, local government election. Some of you were councillor candidate. We even put your posters, the biggest picture you've ever had, in your own community we give you. You are a councillor candidate. You're doing door-to-door, go, go, uti, agna, yo, imali, amapilis. Na uti, amapilis, and go, gati, npeto, amatambo, unga, agna, ngatoli, panato, nji. I panato, turand. And then a councillor candidate of the EFF, yabona, go, kumasa, ngei, cancel. I'll give you that panad. <laughs> no, we've got a problem here. 
Abantu, they are speeding in our own communities. We need speed harms. We've got a problem here in our community. We want to vote, but these young people and these ones, they've lost their IDs. Just to pick up a call and call Home Affairs. Home Affairs, come and make sure that the people in my community, they've got IDs. You don't do it. You say, once I'm a counselor, I will come and give you IDs. And then people of Free State, they say to you, let's shake hands and have a deal. Once you will say you'll give me IDs while you're a counselor. Thank you very much. I accept that deal. I'll vote for you once you're a counselor. Thank you very much. Manja, Manja, thank you very much, uh, Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighters. Amanda, Amanda, uh, we, are, we are proceeding. Um, we are proceeding to the next item. That will be political report by the provincial uh, chairperson, uh, Commissar Mandisa Makesi. Let's have a revolutionary song as she stand up. But I know she can sing for herself. Amanda. In the socialism, um, shaba, um, kesanzen, sabantu, akuna, munto, munto, opetum, shaba, aye. In the socialism, Wonke sante ne saba haya kuna munto munto opetu mshaba aye aba ye saba go saba mapu chango mbela kobe funa funa Sejense Luangaba, Aba Saboba, Saba Mapuchang, Gobela, Gobefuna, Gobef, I Sejense Luangaba, Yin socialism. Wonge sante ni saba haya kuna monto monto opeto mshaba aye ba e sababu abama pochangombe kobe fu 
Kona Ayu sechen se luanga ba Ay ba ye sababu Sabama pochongo brelba Kona fona gobe Ayu sechen se luanga ba Antu Amancha Amancha Viva Yefa Viva Long live EFF Long live Hai hula EFF Hai hula Hai hula EFF Hai hula Hosa 2024 Hosa 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 Hai hula EFF Hai hula Hai hula EFF Hai hula Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Chairperson, uh, Fighter Marshal Mula Majake, the Secretary General, Commissar Marshal Lamini, the deployees of Free State, uh, Commissars that were led by President in, in his absentia, Commissar Piwawa Matogwe, the member of War Council, the convener who have been working with us, and all the Commissars. We really salute you. Fighters, the ground forces, the PCT that we elected together in Velo 2018, September. The RCTs of the state, let me salute you and all ground forces. Kiri, Kialebua, Kamunyeta, Nerefilewona. Uh, the provincial leadership that was elected in Velo, I'll just highlight and acknowledge the, 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 the officials that I work with them for the past five years and I'll request them as I call them their names just to stand up and salute you fighters. Fighter Mashomula Majaike. Malifanem Simanga. Mapeola di Pogo, Sipati Nanyane, Sipati Nanyane, she's outside. Eh, fighters, Rukupaba, the Koloise meets Ileng, Litraya Uditlo Sarana, the problem in Maponesa, Atla and Apatoa, the Koloise alone. If you know you have packed your car, Gantle, Tileng, go and check it. Maponesa thing, they want to tow those cars. Be very careful. Uh, and all the PCT that were elected and co-opted and those who filled the vacancies who made us to arrive to this day today, Kirelona, your work has been acknowledged, Riliboni, Likris Krosa, the province of the state with a lot of challenges. Delegates and all structures of the EFF in free state Ragen and the branches and the ground forces of the e economic freedom fighters, Musebets Walona, Ruboni, and Erbonica, the results. Rikin Kamunyata Wona, Gilidumeli say on the third PPA, and the Torrezi again in Mangao. It is a third PPA, and all our PPAs, the Red Torella Mutsin, Wamangao, initially. It was called the city of roses. Mara today is a city of feces. So all our PPA, which means there is a need for all of us grand forces to give attention and to grow the EFF. EFF is the is It just needs all of us to put our hands on the deck. We also hosted the ninth anniversary here in Mangau, and without the contribution of the collective and the effort of your of you ground forces in Kabe, that rally was not successful. Indeed, I received a little more on the radio focus to the program of organization. Wabona hala This is the moment of us to reflect and self introspect fighters and pave a way forward for the organization 
and for the people of Free State, Hubani Mona Haria representa Reemesibona. This is always compelled by us constantly rem remembering who are. Uh, who and what are the EFF stand for and why is the EFF was formed? We know when the EFF was formed, but to Baneba Rebiza Hore, Reba Naba Baukle Mushoko, Reba Naba Sabatu Lidwa, Reba Tubabata Power at all cost. But we show them it is not about us, it was the issue. Serrera identifier, Harico Panemani, Uncle Storm, Rare, Batuba Free State, Batuba South Africa, Babata this giant movement, Ifomue, so that Babeli alternative, because Baleba Bona, who are none of those organizations that were there. Baneba Garfichella, Hore, Refumanelli Fazi, Rehone Ovalit, Tenere Bizang, Le Haye for Banabarona. Rihone hubale mahaye for batuaji baruna because ne rebata rebabate la resebeta babang but you can even ufumane la also bata urega lifazi ne lilisiyo uno shebu wa ureke mang alka agarekan lifazi leo so the EFF ilata that is why today mitzinga free state di maspalenta free state. Renali mo uchwa batu today. Renali ntuena call home. Kali bakala economic freedom fighters. And can name them all the municipality. We ribeile batu rabafadita in, in our term of office. There are many SG. It's not only moi dry. But the moi dry I understand. Refile batu decide zeng ata ahono. Seritamer bafeli di maini joali. Contrary uh, fighters, that is what it was contrary to the people because the concept here, Bona, Bane Bana we are here for us. Hanti Balebala, the only question, Eric Oban saying, key economic freedom and emancipation that has been ignored by the ruling elite who call themselves the liberators. Karl Marx teach us how the poor dynamics created by capitalism and the relation between the working class. The capitalists are very exploitive and inevitable, given a room of class conflicts. Also, he strongly urged that this conflict will follow by, the, by a revolution where capitalism will be collapsed on its knee by the working class, Ilerona, the ground forces, because all of us Lauka bali salary, lady ground forces, because how you hold a casino, salary a fellow son, I retweet, tweet, yeah, obey my own. How lele go musebetil, you go back, mo uno swating, uno for la sasa. So scanana, ubani uli, tender brain yo, ubonana, ufishili. Haba sa ufi, uhutla back to sasa. We saw capitalism as a historic, historical stage that could eventually reach a ceiling to internal contradiction and ultimately be followed by socialism. He believes that the private ownership of the means of, prov of production enrich capitalists at the expense of the workers. And so our belief as this organization called economic freedom fighters in fighting for the economic emancipation for our South African people against racist, colonial, imperialist, and a political economy and a social domination. The state is an integral and pivotal instrument in, to advance the revolution. As the EFF, we have dedicated our lives to, uh, to attain the economic freedom as Africans, as the African National Congress failed this Mali because they were afraid to hurt their masters. The state is a terrain of the striking which, which each is a motive force in advance of the revolution and the champion the interest of its people. One of the sharpest brains that ever set a feet, Lenin, 
argue that in the class divided society, the state cannot be neutral. The state should never outsource its responsibility like Rebona, the NGO, Digbata or controller as if we voted to power. How Robala Unali Helen Susman. How Zua Unali Kada Asmal something. How Zua Unali another foundation. Who want to tell us who reacting Maraba Electua? They think they will just steal Banke Mata Aruna through the Chelete because they are not loyal to us. They are loyal to the people that they funded them. If regard Cheka, who are those NPO, those NGO, who are the real funders? Ki white people, but Bahua, Aduziman, Stellenbosch. Baye Zangore today in Mangangu, Riskara Hona, Fumana Lefaz. If Ritua Rifuadita, Retameri so hole, Lidi Savisis, Riskai Sua Mole Rona, Rika Hona, Woka, Banabaruna, Baye to the best schools. The state should never outsource its responsibility fighters. And as a EFF, we need to challenge and expose those NGO as they come a very distractor because they even take the, our organization to court. Recently, last year, the Boni President, Ulabaya Court, a bit like in tribute or agri forum, at least Ilaba a well thought. For the South African Wure, Baba educated, Riba Jueza or Rito Jueza Kibashima de Babahua, Uru, Ritlameri Binejuan, the Freedom Song Zaruna. We know where we come from. We cannot be reminded by them. So, as the EFF in Free State, you must make sure when those NGO comes to our community, Ritlameri Beteng, Riskala Dumela Batuaboruna, by Miss Lidiwe. Riboni manager Jagas Fontaine, Haba Fumana disaster, the same NGOs, the Chelete Dia thing. How did check at the Tuakai, had it to look at a province of free state, give a Teresa Batibi Labakibuma, Maru Tabatiba di Nizarona, Habatibi Laber Shoka in, Habatibi Lidi victim Zarona di Kai. Comrades, we also wage a war against racism and financial sector as the organization. And we're all instructed who are participating with those programs and all the provincial structure include the region. We did so without any fail. This was not limited fighters to 2022. This program must continue because our people, Mahua Abajelan, also Patali school fees, Ukolota 150. After 20 years, that's how they operate. And the Nini Utwa, Uno Patesi, the insurance, who stipulate a day, Kishoka Ella today, in a lapstart tomorrow. How Fisher, Ulo Claimer, who to your policy in a lapstart. A day tomorrow, we end up at Ushoka Ezi, Usahoni Marhalo Bapata. And if you are not challenged, those institutions who are failing our people, it was not a program of 2020. If you can check out the old metropolitan and check the shares in the directors, you will understand what this program in 2020 against the racist financial sector is very important for all of us to embark to. The free state is a class case, is a class in case in point where northern free state has industries. Ribuaka Chabo Mufutanyana, Reatiba una lidi fetri, una lidi corrido, mariba tuba chabo mufutanyana, li today they don't have water. But tuba chabo mufutanyana, today that region is big, giga tourism and agriculture. Habana mobu, habati bileba kibo mang batubage, baeza di game resort. I control like a batubadula Australia, how Kala Kenya de Homuta, how Mahua Adinka, Adisa Lady Brende, Baujele de Homuta, how the southern part, Yafria province, Yaruna again fight hearts, Rinali de Mine, Mani Lijuli Putua, Rinali de Mine, 
ho tswa mane ho ya jakas for de bo gharipo re bone hore di mane how they cruel ba gona hore ba haele tamo let's be protected in the middle of the community hard we like metsi ao ba ba re bona ha ba tlo bua ba tlo le patala ba bua le ngo el sites be in tswa kae ba tho ba jakas fonteng the leadership that will be coming make sure you assist them they need the eff komisa mashar these are own corporates and internal internal comrades proving exactly what Karl Marx spoke to it is then our revolutionary duty to ensure that we wage a constant war against this racist financial sector the ultimate what we are saying here is that we should look into a more niche approach of collapsing this capital for example again the region of Thabo Mufutsanyana their focus is more on agriculture and the commercial but ke eng o ka ishebang hore ke ntate wa mang e re tsebang o involve o successful on the commercial farming except magwa a tswa australia a regulate the property ba tlanga di whole day money e clearance ba tho ba clearance ba utlo tshizi i phewe ka mona e be ba ghela ka mane so re na le mathata we need to challenge them the solid plan with the mining industry is also important in lijeli putswa because we are saying the incident that happened in jacos fontein it once happened in lijeli putswa mani hamon ho bane batho bane ba le affected ile le magwa ba le ba haelwa matlo ha o tswa welcome o ya blue fontein o tswa ka virginia on your left hand side le tamule le kile lawa mari today how na mukukumo ke matlo a matle because batho ba ne ba le affected ine le magwa why is a etsa hale mani japan the anc led government has failed to prop properly to run the provincial state entities to boost the economy of the state the free state has a great potential of growing its economic hubs we are told about economic zones in Tabantu, in Botsabelo, in Kwakwa, ka 2020, di ukai. We need to follow up. The EFF in the province has taken a stride in intervening in the life co in living condition of farm dwellers and farm workers. There was a growing trend of farm owners evicting, evicting and families in the farms. Upon a disagreement or upon the death of your main person who was working there, batho, di khutsana, di alele kwa ba siya mabita bonta tabona, ma placing ba lachelwe kara di townshipu ba fuwe tomboji ya mukuku. What are we doing as branches of the EFF? We need also to challenge that fighters. Because if ritwe la mahua ana hurintate muholo. Utlo sebeta blessing ha fellwa ke matla ha ba lahlelwa mane matwa beng Senegal a ba lahlelwa le dikgomotsa hai a ba jelwa dikgomotsa hai be re sabile a programmatic program of action we are failing our people the racist farm own owners could intimidate and attack their workers this is this was very prevalent prevailing in Thabo Mufutsanyana region. The EFF had invite to the office of the premier with the police provincial commissioner and the local farm workers and the farmers and the MEC of police Mani Pumelela municipality in Friday. Modi khomotsa batho ne di jiswa poison ke magwa. Ha ba bitsa SPCA babare khomo e shwetse mare khomo e shwa ka jeno how to five for clock e body le yang ga ya bona hala e poison how let how lata batho ba tleme ba tlo tsheka hore huna le animal cruelty ya di khomisa ntate mamang ho bane ke motho wa motho they will come after two weeks babare ba batla dispatch u tlo di fumana ka ka khomo e ngang e body le cause le a tseba khomo e poison weng even the following day 
udula mo ibodi le ibai pose na bantu ba mutha ba tlang ba tlisa investigation udlo fuma na bo pake lo bo bulekai ubani khomo utla ba li party le li lashile usina anywhere to do so we need also to follow up that the EFF also provincial in provincial legislature also took the premier that inquest on the living condition of the farm workers must be conducted. And that program is ongoing because of the EFF. We also submitted a petition for the living condition. Because every day, so it's a program because every day halimamela di radio matsotla no magumani hubua ka batho re batho ba bana le mathata ma blessing and the harikeni hangata re ba approach re ba tla ba tla o rona di officing hali ke stele di blessing o tlo futa jwa mputa di chaba officing ya na lady as a prospects of the economic freedom and emancipation on the continent of africa we, no, we can no longer be quiet and silent when the country and the continent are spiraling out of control. The liberation movements like the ANC have made its personal mission to destroy their country, our country, mistreat their people and protect criminals with, within the ranks because banali political proximity. Mare, reabona hanyani hanyani, we hope there is not an arrest or stopper who are going to contest. Those arrests are genuine. They are going to be able to get the money. They are going to be able to get the money from the state. They will be able to get the money from the Lord Flay. They will be able to get the money a ground start correctional service because Baba Ngata, Baba Ngba Dutsi Di Masipale, Baba Taru, Loba Apointa, Maliba Leba Rasinyeza. The economic freedom in our lifetime is possible and no one is going to attain it for us, beside us. We can't have anyone at our repulo sama tating ana nchele rona. Ke rona abato repulo sa hauna mesaya atla tuwa luhodu munga o rapela aba repulo sa. It's our program of action that will put at our repulo sa who attain economic freedom in our lifetime. We are on our own Ripa Puluso Baruna fighters. If Runa is a Pulusi, then there's no one at our Luanel. And we must stop this thing. Yao Riba Tabari Fone Laberere, Yere Rufedi Namba, the Commander in Chief Kapazako Misa Marshal Lamin. We are all leaders of the EFF in our own right. You can't expect leadership, the official is a six, that Ibata Dila Likadinto, Elika Tamaya, Latuala Placilla, Lo Chapalo Hua, Kadim Bama, Ali Suarezar at Ahuta, Hana Mutata Bula, Hana Life Sentence. The new dawn is failing, is a failed concept. And it is not a situation we should allow to happen in our presence. The unemployment rate is high, especially in our province. The, the food price, the fuel, the level of service delivery fighters have not been afforded. Now, like I said, it's a little five for two. But pillow, the two are dour. The patrols are not the dour. Have you seen how they are rotting? So we need to get the land so that we get the Dijo recreate our own jobs. The Free State record an official unemployment of 32.4 in the second quarter of 2022. We had recorded a 32.9 in the fourth quarter of 2018. How checker? How not difference? How much more? More than really think at 2018, we are still in that situation in 2022. COVID-19 will be used as a scapegoat to hide their shenanigans. And uh, every time how about Bota, Bato, how about say some sebeti, bali incompetent, uta ujweza ka COVID-19. You must know a person that respond with I can't hold on to some sebeti ka COVID-19. I can't run on a lady phone no you know they're hold on to the intervention online. So which means if we didn't log in, you know, which means we need a challenge. So Asia 2019 in the provincial government, how kopana the provincial department e ujweza ka COVID-19 if we are hold on halo mujweze libizole tata fail 051. 
these figures are concerning as, may, as they are giving us a very scary picture of what will come soon. This is a result of being landless and not having control of the means of production in our country. The CIC, in his address to the 16th Central Command Team, said that the situation we find ourselves is in is as, as a country require fighters to be sharpened in their message of and the Babeli confident and they must defend the organization at all time. If the EFF is being attacked on the social media, media fighters they must be there to defend the organization. They are people, they are our friends who insult our national leadership because you keep quiet. They insult the national leadership, they insult the EFF, the program. We don't defend the EFF. Hence, program every branch have a social media uh, account so that they are active on the Facebook, on the social media, and on the Instagram. You can't be a fighter who was active on the social media, who will you'll be relevant. We need all fighters to be vigilant and throughout their analysis. Of their type of the enemy, we are faced with the protest product protection they have. As the economic freedom fighters, we should detest being involved in factional battles of the ANC or being used as a tool to fight the squabbles of ANC. You were not elected as SG Abuile, who no longer allowed the man mayor, the man speaker. You were elected to rebut the Baboruna Babatelli fads. There were no manifesto of the economic freedom fighter. Oh no, the man chief whip, the man speaker, the man MNC. Our message was clear what the election. Hurry, we want land. Manje, Nanje, Nkanako, Ena, Rebatelabatu. Hurry up, we got the motion. But when you ask the public representative, what did you do? Give motion now, Rehutua mayor. How check that the mayor is not the mayor of the EFF? We don't have even numbers. But we are fighting for the position that you know with the people that didn't elect for, at, for those positions. So you must desist to do that. We are not elected to submit the motion is about speaker because the same speakers in free state, we didn't win. So the only motion that we must focus is service delivery motions. <laughs> the racism. The ANC along with the Democratic Alliance will only approach the EFF, the Maspalens, the legislature. But how do you submit a motion? They don't support you. But how about that? Outro sa omongwa ba na ba kenyo omongwa ba tetezi dutulo ba si patient the process. They will use you, and you allow to fall to that trap. You think you are relevant. You must disease fighter to do that. This is why the EFF should be careful when it comes to the motion of no confidence in our respective municipality. The classical example fighters. Last year, we submitted a motion in the First State Legislature of removal of the Cornelian symbol. Both ANC, the DA, the Freedom Front voted against that motion. This year, we submitted a motion of a 24-hour clinic. The same happened. Why is there a use? Racism continues to show its ugly face in this province. We witnessed something that happened in Mani Senegal and Madwabe. More Mahua Alai Pona were back again to a national key point in the police station, in the court yaruna, but who never by it and to buy Rata. Go and do that to an only Motramots, who born a Kasifumani less than 12 years in jail. But today, the white people who are to a fella, Yaman and Juarant. Let's follow that case and check what is happening. Because Batubao, Abaso Ashulu, who Tababang Banali, the problem is our mentally by so psychiatrist hospital. Mutu Ayans and Tua deliberately had at our referred medical report, and there's nothing that is happening. We want to see those white people, but face the full mighty of the law, but save the sentence, so seriously, because they have undermined the democracy in this country. 
The EFF also quickly attended to the case defending the constitution of in, uh, in this country. We, we also won that because EFF is there to, to expose the Milauyena and Enzeri Hatella. The intervention in racism school is a noble and notable man in Lujo Elibuzo Alimona Mangaung. Where learners were victimized, the EFF were there and challenged the Department of Education and those educators. We want leaders, branches to act when racism affects our people. Don't say worry. Bafumani counseling, they have understood one another. If racism is okay, we need to stand up. In June 2020, we had a picket all around the province of Black Lives Matters. And it was a national program, fighters, in the midst of the COVID. We were arrested without any judge, substance, and those court. Those cases, that's a fella fella because they thought they are intimidating us. Because racism, liba tu babo runa ba America, la kababu asu kwase monati juan, haba fita mane America, le kwa lo bona lo bona motwa mot. La kabale di pan pupura pure seka seka i, haba bona ba bona kafur. After the demonstration. Really provincial leadership and unfortunately we managed to win that case because there were no case. The EFF is not a faction of the ANC. The EFF is a political party that must fight for our people, landless people, that they are struggling. They need services. They need clinic for 24 hour clinic. COVID-19 pandemic Riboni affect about to lead Jackass Fontaine disaster. I keep believing I'm not having any fighters. And how about the report? Because EFF contributed. Who report to Baba Runa? But to so Chelsea, they would let us know. But to Baba Runa, but never saw for money to so. We want also to continue to share, to salute those healthcare workers who work tirelessly to save our life, our life, our lives once. And make sure, but on the forefront, but she banili pandemic, ke bana basa itse belori. Ita ubula ya leka moya, but they work very hard. Kaufela bonanga tabarona. We are here today, but there are those who pass on, and we need to say, may their soul rest in peace. We could also like to express our gratitude to the healthcare workers, tabarona. As I said. And we must make sure fighters, if Hunalit in Tose Joalo Basebeti, because Manese Aruna, even today, Habaso Fumani di Chelte Baneba di Sebeleza, Babanga Sale Babewa Haye, Habaso Fumani di Chelte Tadi COVID 19 in Dikaraching, and they're still coming to our offices, Labaya Labor Department, Haba Fumani assistance. So we need to follow up on those cases. The Free State has record of 216, 812 cases of COVID-19, 7,895 deaths. Every fighter, if we can, we can say, every fighter, if we can say, we will list the names of the people even including to our organization. So this pandemic, this pandemic was very detrimental to our livelihood of our people. The economy of our healthcare system. Unfortunately, even during the pandemic, some of the people seem opportunity to loot the funds. Babaji ja reabati ba kibo mang hauna entreza halang kaba bona horikiti la ya uri ba yete di mask se abnormali ba yete di sanitize and zedi dutu di staro. We need to challenge that and expose those people who did that ba yete anto kanga turanda ba bariki twenty four rand. But how are you going to in a little randa? How are you going to be able opportunity? How are you going to be able to The people and the community of Jagas Fontaine, my friends, we get disaster fighters, got 11 September 2022. If we are going to anything, the organization, we were there, 
they are calling to the national leadership because by its leadership is Yarona is very responsive in our nature. Who the Hakolita Lisobona, Commissar Marshall, what the situation in Jacques Fontaine. They also said to us, Bakupa Commander in Chief, Akaya Alobona, Hubane, though that Litamuleo, they are still working. The mine workers, Banza by Explodua, the Goloza Mahua, Dinza di Bulaya Bana. But to Nalim me, I saw a fumana even today. Hi Sally, I nyamela got eleven September. Reclamer me di tapolum. Unfortunately, the government has been visiting that area by as a PR exercise. They, when they conduct oversight, but like a di helicopter, but but to ba abakata uza maya. How nalin to ba kona huibea tafuling but to ba jagas fountain. We call on the authorities to finalize the investigation because the case was open in that mine and those mine, work, mine owners, they must be held accountable. 2021, the national election and 2019 and 2021, national election and local government election. The EFF nationally, we come within under nine months from the election of the current provincial command team. We work tirelessly as a collective to ensure the EFF grows is electoral. We had a very intense campaign with all structures of the EFF and even the student command. In the year of 2019, our mantra moving towards the national election was our land and, our, and, and jobs manji. We will still the f we, we, we are still a f the, of the film, of the film belief of that program must continue because none of us still have learned even today. So that manifesto, in a manifesto, what 2019, those challenges must continue. You must make sure our people get learned manje now. We have received. 82,674 votes in the provincial election 2014. 8%. That gives us two seats in the legislature. 2019, Rafumana almost 12%. Yarifa 111 votes, 427. EF two votes. We have now four. Harinki one, Rinka two, two. So fighters, but we can't even now as SG Abuile, who why but ba free state ba sahoni who reza an official opposition. Official opposition in free state is still the democratic alliance. We need to correct that. If we try about the VD, rebelli 1010, let's save those 1010 because those are the people that will vote for EFN, EFF and guard our vote. But we find ourselves, Harere, let's submit the 1010 per voting station. Other fighters, they give us Mabito Asio on the day of the election, Rufumana Hore, Rufumana Zero on the voting station. But we are told we have 10 VD coordinators. The year 2021 was a very busy and stressful year with the local government election that was sent to, to sit. We had a very little and limited time to prepare accordingly for the election. We were forced to move on unreliable space, recreate the candidate within two weeks, within I think seven days in the province. And we managed to have candidate in all 319 wards in free state. But the challenge that we have noted, because it was late, Babang Bafumani the poster Sabona a day yeah the election. Babang two days before the election. But to Banaba Saudib, did you see maybe the camera in Saruna the posters say, but you must rescue Nyahama, Ritole Pelu Sebeleza EFF. But this this thing, yeah, the challenge in Ericopa and Alessona, higher frustrated, higher rates are fellow matter. We were focused because we were able to get the vote, say 215, 666 votes, increase from 9% to 12% in 2021. The organization contested all wards in the province. The organization re received votes in all wards, but we did not receive 
who vote uh, 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 the vote in 65 voting station, not the what. And they got 2021. Nere Safumana, the vote would be 90. So number Yarona Rahona, we tell her whole of fighters. The VD is 20, Rahona, correct our Harabelip, the vote more. So we still have a challenge. Yara, how do you correct more Nere Safumana, the vote of Fumani, the zero? It must come with a plan. As we approach the commission, it's Aruna today, really identify those voting stations and come up with a clear program of action. In my ward, in my municipality, we didn't receive votes in this voting station. What is a, a program of action so that we correct that come 2024? The local government election of which two, we managed also to win two wards in Metsimaholo, Ward 8, and then we have those Ward Councillor, Faita Lifan Klapo. Can you stand up? This is a Ward Councillor of Ward 8. I don't see him. Faita Manana Mos, or Faita Lifa, is that at the back of Ward Councillor, CPR. Faita Manana Mos, or Ward 23, more dry. Okay. Can you stand up, Fighter Manana? What council like in Bogoto? We have two what council. Come another by election. Retrota Mary Ese of Fitamona, Rebelli the Water, Sadibuaga the PR council. We have um, 81 PR council fighters. We have seven districts in the country. We have seven, uh, in, in all seven districts, we managed to have 16 councils. In, in six districts, we have managed to have seven councils in all the districts. We have four local municipalities that are hanged in Free State, which is Nala, which is Maluti Apofu, Motaka municipality, again, Metsimahol, because of the effort that were put by fighters in those municipalities. But fighters, we must never shy away to speak truth to power. In Malutu Apufu, we decline our seat. The leadership that will be coming, they must make sure they correct that. It was noting that youth rise of civic organizations and the community forums is a case is a case is a cause of concern, especially in Tabo Mufutsanyana and Fezile Dabi and literally put up because in Nala Renali a civic organization in a Babamba to bow but some with Hadronga EFF. In Sitzoto Renali the civic organization. In Mukhaka Renali the civic organization. In Metsima Hulu Renali civic organization. In Maluta Pofung Renali civic organization. Hence our numbers that are declined. We need to discuss the ring at the forum with Sena Zenga Tanga Takara Mizia Runa. Why Batuba opta for the forum, not the economic freedom fighters? So we need to, to ask our question in the election commission and a, like a, a clear program of, of action. How do you challenge and make all the civic organization debate irrelevant so that people they have trust to the economic freedom fighters? The organization managed to have regional people organ assembles the organ in all five regions. And we did that. We did not. There's a meeting yesterday outside. What is happening? Oh. <laughs> we will show appreciation and gratitude to those fighters for work done in the RLC and they managed to give us 90% of our branches in good standing. And they reached the deadline of the CCT. We also want to congratulate the newly elected leadership of the region of all the five regions, regional chairpersons and the secretaries. First, let there be fighter April Mutau as a chairperson. Uh, the secretary is fighter Silwana Mutiane. Can they both stand up? Manta. In literally, Putsua is Thomas Matsingwane and Ishmael Mukode. Can they both stand up? I don't know why Sila Ludusi Morao. In Mangau, we have fighter Hopulandi Bale as a chairperson and fighter Mpora Matlama. 
Intabo Mufusa Yana, we have fighter Mohamu Lelue and fighter Temba Maseko. In Karipu Municipality, we have Bogoto as a regional chairperson, fighter Mbuse, and the secretary is fighter Monges in Sakat. It's on the wheelchair down on Mona Fatsi. Corruption and service delivery. If this government is not serious about fighting corruption, then a great straight st st starting point could be Kokopano municipality, where at almost one billion Ilanyamala and there's no one who's being held accountable. Chelete Nyamala Yamaspala, how na motatwering, motufela ubewe hai, unza pila hamunati, out to one billion ili and counting officer, there's nothing that is happening. So you must also come and challenge why that person alanya meta one billion in that municipality, how na next the next thing which I must declare as a wasteful a fruitless and wasteful expenditure. What is happening at Kopanom is a classic example of all ANC administration municipality in this province and the entire country and their entities. We are awaiting the follow-up on the 220 million Ela Nyamela Mani Sidibeng in Malut Apofung municipality. We have seen the effect of COVID-19 and the sports inter entertainment and the recreational industry. We need to to do everything in our power to ensure that they are resilient. But to bow, but let the challenge that the artist they must pay those artists of free state because Abba Shokahala, the Tamari donate as if Abba Semets. In literally Putwa, who had a group, and a real whole line in a bit of Oyaba, Ukai today. Mona Mangaung, Harasana Le Bolo, Nerenali Timu, Eneratuaki Batuba Free State, Kaufela, Celtic, Haio today, by Reiki Sise, and there's nothing that is happening. So we must also come with that program and make sure we challenge it. The issue of Makufe recently is a classical example where a maladministration is aiding by Sana di Koto, by Fane di Tenda, Nteli Kamulao. We hope by Neba Safela Fela Hai Koto, by Stopa, if we are the official leader, political leadership, because administrator, officials, by account of who the political, there's a political head, as an oversight. If those people ba khona ntsa chelete ya makhufe ba sa follow molao uno li kai wena mc of sports arts and culture so we also need to challenge that fighters the fred dairy farm does not resemble the million if you go to fred you will once have a program immediately hane qota electu aka 2018 you went to fred dairy how fit like a gate ya uka yetsetsa haka ya welding ya ntate mukwena wa next door ya hatla ka ngetsetsa gate mar that gate e worth the million so these are the challenges re kopane le tsona that you need also to follow up this project was just like all ANC run municipality and entities that are not sustainable without the government throwing money into their being. As, this is, as things stand, the project is currently subjected to investigation and a rebony with the state capture Nahana, where the final conclusion it is a hala, but to money growth flay by the overall. The report of the Auditor General of South Africa to the Free State Legislature on a, on a special audit on the building in a Tlamelibile Parliament Arona, a Copanso Public Works, in a Tlamelibe Mani Trongo Moduan, Moitra, Ram Kral, even today, how we are Mani Kimabota Fela, Atlabon Saikibo Mangbane Batame Bane Balimo, in a Tlamele that area, Ilaba Parliament, Chalete, Itzuile, Wunzo Tafela, House Bahali Yetzing, the Rila Tela, the public representatives, remake a show. Those politicians, they must be held accountable. It's seen fella, the officials, because the only thing that they are doing, they only focus on the officials, because it's easy to target battle. How about file instruction, Kamulomo, Usayeta, and writing? This project is a classic example of a mismanagement, corruption, and waste of taxpayers' money. Without a due diligence, and millions spent on the project cannot be accounted for. Physically, there is no free state legislature building in free state. 
the only thing that you find how your money eh what do any ram kral ufumana fela mabota and then erika tabela hoja balaba ituela ya badrongo ditreka shoko la hona mo because una bili una bilongo to that jail the EFF has also played integral, integral integral role in the intervention in the saga of both international and local students funded by the provincial government. The students have outstanding debt on, the, their, on their institution and accommodation accounts. They were not receiving their stipends overseas. But the COVID-19 COVID exhibited the, mat the matter of students being stuck abroad and bana ba tlame ba khutsetswe hae ba la bana ba rona ba enda pile ba ithekisa le mebeli ba yetsetsa hore ba je because bana ba sa food disturbed ba tswa re re go pare skera dumela fela hore bana ba isuwa ha o campaigno ka di election cheka le institution yeo bana ba lona ba iswa teng ba iswa u di fly by night bana ba ne ba perform a hantle ba ne ba tlame bana le di qualification they had to start afresh the state of free state municipality is well documented by, in, by, the, by the Auditor General, not just the financial aspect, but the service as well, and non-existent. The CIC was even forced to visit Mangaung because of sewer spillage that was unbearable to the community of Ward 1, Ward 2, and Ward 4. Generally, all the wards are Mangaung, who have a problem with sewer and it's not fixed. Every day we got calls, there's nothing that is happening. Even the administrator is failing to intervene. We are proud of the work done by the, e by the EFF on our cleaning campaign, provincially and regionally. As we could not just sit and wait for the government to intervene. It's a hard thought like a program, really EFF free state. Yasha ya program, ya urikilitsi ma ya ANC. Bona kaba yeza la bushan. Because bane ba duzi ba sa chini di township. Rita hara kala ka di cleaning campaign. Ba bona di koloiza di public representative. Dinka di doti ritina di area. Kaba it's like a program. Today bana le program ba ibiza litsi ma cleaning campaign. Bo bera maposa ba mata mona. Ba inkile horona. We need to continue. We are also very concerned with the treatment and whistleblow with the treatment of the whistleblowers in the province. Renali a case in point, more a former admi administrator Yamani Maboni saying, we party today, what we have tricky face, or how expose our corruption. I enter it's a man in the police in Saruna, South Africa. It's a fella at our work. I own a me all a shake face. We see the banana bona. How not anything? How about a baba bata ma barete? But Allah ha 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 man with 16 head the dali by it's in to buy right down. Me all see the banana bahai. My police out to send the chalete. I hear the banana bona. Basa qualifying over the positioning. But pillar harmonati. Me who do the man we party low see the banana bona and the provincial government and even our cell fighters, I don't think we are doing enough to protect the whistleblowers. Governance fighters, the problem in the free state was not rather Ace Mahashul, nor Sifu Randombele. The problem is entire ANC. Where they give policy to Kwana Atro leader, where they give Kiki Manyoni, where they give Usi Chabalala, the problem is free state and non service delivery will happen. The only solution is to take to remove the ANC to power who can economic freedom fighter Ribe government. Yes. So it's us fighters back at Tusang. So we don't need to to own a better besani no una since a man usually puts a municipality who just said it's a head that about we hope the pro leadership of usually puts a will make sure who buy it up a pillow high but tata because the only thing i take the money go for man actually for december conference i love to talk about usually put the quality of governance and administration of both provincial and local government is absolutely appalling it's such that make us strong to believe that our tools of analysis, the marks, 
Limp Fanon and Lenin are the only logical ones that can rescue this country and the continent. Otherwise, Bo Nyu Dono, Bo Ying, they are not going to assist. So the tools of analysis, it's already getting early economic freedom fighter. Every Honore, Ritlamer Receives, Ekatila Ifing, Rechetile Ehante, Less Focus, Hubatuba Babararo, Marx, Lenin, Lefanon. So otherwise, we cannot change anything. The Department of Police, Roads and Transport paid a waste over 45 million. Yet, in free state, out of my house, I did it. Baba said, "It's a did it." My child tell it then. Ya end up it's a maya in Kuwaiti the province is doing because how na bu honi from administration and politically. This is comes after the department also of, also was flagged as squandered almost one billion. This just shows that former MEC Machinini was not, the, was not just an actual problem. He was just a collateral because of the financial and al alignment because of Dukwan. Because today, Chelete Tuile, how am I on those Nadizil? So, what's one and all fellow Chinchulomulomu, Kimanga Troja Bidiri, Abafara Maposa Bukai? The problem is the entire ANC. Because it does not matter who you put in power, as long you still put the ANC, as long the people of the state, they feel who rebatame ba choose ANC of over us. Matata di silata dulalite. The Department of Human Settlement also has parted ways with almost 20 million. Mar batuba free state ya habana matu. Chelete ibe sa sebe di sui. Ibe ifwa di prosi visite sona libo khauteng libo noten kape. Because ne resina batu bateng who make a show hore. Ba yeta an oversight as political head, as administrator to make show hore. Chelete yew ya sebe di so. I foresee the same thing happen again this year. The EFF continuously raise our concern about the constant rollovers it is along in the provincial municipality and the provincial government. The free state had around 12 billion in rollovers mainly because of under expenditure. The service delivery across all municipalities remain a problem with our, with our people not with receiving adequate services as be the constitutional right. Mangaum Metro remain under administration. We need to follow up on this process of the previous administrators across the province. Because how so administrator in any municipality you can check from Masilonyana, from Mafube, from Mangaum, from Malutia Pofung, Maspala Uba Upe, Uba West Lufita Habalite, Baribato intervene, Marbareza Zamatata Afita, Habat Lady the Administrator, Babe Baba Lonela Lady Appointment, the Baba. Commissars and fighters, the municipalities in the free state are collapsing due to the poor governance and the budget management. It was nothing that through the EFF pursuing and hard-hitting debate, through pressing question, accountability follows. In fact, the pressure that the EFF has put generally in Hild in Mangawu Metro municipality, in Mangawu municipality, Lidi Maspala Tetswanale Mohukare, Mafube Metsima Holo and Mashabeng. Because Rala Hona Rakenya Section 106, more Rala Hona the investigation, but the Maspala Tetswanale is about under administration. Get intervention in Tsweki EFF or how investigate your money of your The Economic Freedom Fighter Student Command. The longevity of the, the Economic Freedom Fighters and its growth depends on the life and the growth of the Student Command. We also wish to congratulate the newly elected student command, which was elected on the second people assemble and on the 28th of May 2022 uh, in Mangawu. And we wish them a uh, well in their term of office. Reba Fela Mosebezi ahead of them, Omongata. The leadership that were elected is Silepen Kabane, the chairperson. Can we stand up? Kian original chair. Tabedi Unaliruna, Deputy Chair, Silike Mohau, Secretary, Mutari Tato, Deputy Secretary, Sogeka Tleo, the Treasurer of the Province.
fighters, the institution of higher learning, I am macrosing of the, of the society, which at all material times needed to be one of the community issues, as they are not in isolated. The assemblies are not merely for just about electing of the leadership, but also to ensure that the newly elected leadership is giving a plan of action and the mandate by the collective present the assembly of a collective that is presenting all the branches and the student command. We want to emphasize that no one should be a member of the EFF student command if they are not registered members of the IEC. And they are members of the EFF in good standing because over the age of 16, so they qualify to be members. So when they recruit the student command, but they must check that person where they registered to vote. The student command cannot contest SRC election because of administration deficiency. We witness that in CUT and we hope fighters we are going to correct in the long run because globally the election would go to Tibet. If Rodriguezuela, because I submitted the document in time, is going to be a problem for you. We find us rebuilding the structures in the student command. We contested we have SRC. Please don't drop the ball. The EFF student command high exists only for SRC election. It exists for it to send a student in all the community. Because after the life of the student command, you go back to the community. Even before you were the student command, you are more like institution of higher learning. You belong to the challenge. You don't need to relax. So you don't need to relax. 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 You don't to relax. You don't need to relax. You do your problem. The impact of the basic education and support they are not giving in the FET learners is also a program that we must also assist the student command. What is our position in the combating the dual education system of the public and private? We need to also contextualize the metric results, which how many entries are in grade one and middle two grade twelve and check those who to have passes the flying colors but you love a barrel of suit to it's a get it my whole whole about on a now who achieve about a dead go long up about end up about drop out on a if they are not had a whole over analyzer who ribbon about on a banner banner by getting at 2022 by the great one the limons and the back of the great 12 after that about on out at the goal of my snow the education arena is not correct the capacitation of the Tibet sectors and industry. Fighters, the fact of the matter is that currently the university do not have capacity to cater everyone. Why is this technical and vocational studies are not frowned upon? What we need right now as a country, a people that with a technical skill and ability so that Bahono create a misebezi, but a high led feme, but a high led matu, but like the issues are the innovation, Rehono or Rated and Tokibo Nakao fail. Because Banali Buhon, but if Basafumani the skill from technical school, there's nothing that will achieve. All of us will want to work in the provincial government. We have arrived less than 10,000. One of the reasons that these lazy thinkers who are xenophobic used to defend their action is what our African brothers and sisters are taking your job. So why run the believe I issue as on a fabio or barinkela musebes? Why run our sabuli rasaruke? Wow saruki dieta. Why is a shatu dieta shatu di teki? Haba yeza rebarinket misebes. It's not fair. We need to come recreate our own musebes, reclaim the ideas, repeat this, repeat this, and ababoruna. The financial sector, the financial. The financials and academic exclusion is also a problem. The student command should be against all forms of inequality and victimization. 
the EFF and EFF Student Command are a protest movement and will always be on the side of the oppressed. I do not want to hear stories of a college official offering you money for the position instead of Luluane Lebasebez. As we speak, this college have institution interdicts and writing warning for our fighters. And Babang, they end up being suspended. And we need to assist them because if basafeli trap ya corruption. The incumbent need to ensure that all these SRCs remember they are deployees of the EFF. Scar but tempted keep blazer ya the SRC. Because we end up lili bala structures of the EFF. Li do la the office in say air conditioned and forget about the EFF. Li nahana, who buy SRC for a year, who are very blazer, who are marukenika overall, we have arrived fighters. So when we are in SRC, who say how our overall, even got Red Friday, who sell out of the highest note. The involvement of the EFF student command in the community and the EFF. Less than 20% of young people in the institution of higher learning, which leaves vast majority outside the scope of the sector, need to be challenged. There's a problem here, gender-based violence, rape and femicide. This is another pandemic that continues to plague our society. By the look of things, it continues to grow. Most of known cases of GBV and femicide are done, are not done by strangers. Dieta hala hoki bana barona, babita bana barona. Boma lume, babita bana barona. And because that person wa usebeleza, uri wana aska report a rape case. If we are a fighter here, you know any person. You don't report a gender case, li GBV, li sexual harassment. We are perpetuating issue of gender-based violence. But fighters, how do you get to the political scoring to destroy fighters? How do you get to the political scoring to destroy fighters? It is wrong. It must be condemned. You can contest if the male counterpart and differ, but don't lie. That rape is not a playing thing. That by a rape, we are destroying that person. Le adula le konkote le teka di cases e siyo that rape. We want to destroy people le batlaure le bakwale mulomo. It's wrong. Le try end up haliye that that by a GB ya gender based violence. Ili irrelevant. Le batu bashoka matuso ya nite berisa linki serious. If you know any person, any politician who rape who kill, report them to the police. Don't come get the stories they see you, worry because they are contesting like PPA, man, the sound repeal. The gender-based violence should not be seen as a, a crime against humanity because it is a phenomenon that deeply rooted in the gender inequality and continues to be one of the most notable human rights. Violation within all society. Both men and women express the gender-based violence fighters. Hasita ba ya bo me fela ba victime zwa. Huna le bo me ba shikifeta mbonta te. Beba sali beba rimuna kikonya na halle. Once uruta ngwa na wa hau wa mushimani. Hore hau tule bo shoko. Hala utlore kili matembe u wiki. Li mushaba mbolesta ili, baleba mbolesta. Hano ripota usani, utlo reipa hasa li moholo. Because bushuku ba utla nana kinto, muna upila kanto yewu. So boys and girls gidi victim za GBV. So banababa shimani, nchwena uyaure, bona, batame badule, abalili, manta umtame mfana, muna hali, it's wrong. Everyone only the feelings and emotion. How to level shook whether on that la so that to honor fallah because once usale utroba monster to the community. Utro re how good na rikopani 
re etsa dintho tsa rona tsa batho ba ba baholo o bo re recorda because this is what is happening fighters and it doesn't happen who ordinary women ba fatsi e etsa le le batho ba udimi ba di position of power and le bona ba ba sa di report because ba tshaba hore le nna ke le motho wa ma ema tshwana le bona hanka report ke tla ba ke expose like ba banten ono yetsa ntho le yena report to the police because mutho hana right ya o evade your privacy ntho de le yetsa le le babedi abai expose on the public without your consent is a crime the eff needs to lead by example fighters Tina, our fighters must not victimize women. Tina, our fighters must not rape women. Tina, our fighters must not abuse women. Tina, our fighters must be able to engage on the debate. Uskabe Abu Sadiba Haupi. Runa, our fighters who must be able to get position, get the qualification, is in Gadi Kubo. Once Udumela, Horea, how to know here? Upalami swatafule. Ubulaya wena. Ura rebula relebasadi in general. So stop. Udumela. Dimisebezi. Sex for job. It must end. You must know you earn a position because unalebu honi. Isin because umusadi. Fighters, we need also to make sure we come with a, pro pro a, a clear program. To protect Mebusiswe Mkweba. If you know example ya ya ushikife to ike mahua li GBV li racism. Ubeye chanji the chairperson of that poly or that portfolio committee. You must have that to a rapist. That man hana the morals. That man hana boto. Mebusiswe Mkweba has been victimized. And a basadi, but South Africa, they are quiet. We need to come with a clear program, restore that parliament, and raise to Mebusisiwe Mkobal. But if you are not going to stand up as women of South Africa and defend the injustice that is happening to Busisiwe Mkobal, we must know we are failing our women in the profession. We have seen Mepakeng, Liena racism, in Afentamani University, ya Cape Town. Hubani ke mutwa motho magwa a konkota ba ye ba tla ka dintotsengata ha re beyeng bomme bao because bomme bao hore ba be mo ba keni skolo ba qualify le ba lwanetse ba tswadi ba bona ba le ba sacrifice we cannot keep quiet as women of South Africa i challenge the women of EFF who must come with a clear program to defend those women the police minister Begitela release a, a crime stats between April and June 2022. There were shocking fighters. There were more shocking when you realized that the entire idea is like about to erect a little bona matlong arona. It seems about to the strangers. Bana bana balu bara ipo like about to erect a little bona matlong arona. Bana bana balu like about angkili like about ibadi next door. And the cases there they were very high. So also you need to be vigilant and make sure to protect about bong khono ba rona le bana ba rona because bana bana ba se ba inkela moro lo bong khono ba rona A total of 11,555 recorded cases in this incident of sexual offence which is 9,516 where rape occurred between April and June 2022 Almost half of these cases taking place Maotong haye kibo malume kiba tate barona ba inkela morowo riboni mane fix peke me afana kangwana huntate because me wakula asa kono usavi sandate ba ba dumela na lintate hore harifena ire umpa unke wanona me atewe bete apala me wana wana shikifeto aliteng hubana ana ba tanda tamu regele morowo it's happening we are attending that case in fix peke so the child challenges that we need to deal with. They were reported to have 42,992 cases of gender-based violence in the first three months of 2022 and 3,306 3, cases of kidnapping. The majority of victims are women. 
the ratio of rape is common assault between women and men. Every man and rape, rape were with, sorry, but 20 but rape were in every 45 minutes every day. And uh, it, this thing, they are shocker because liba tubarona, basa fumani musebets, biliena yaure rehono itegi sagameli for free. We can't wait for 2024, banabaruna bala bile now. We need to challenge or that bill must be i pasue money parliamenting so that bato bahone uyeze tabana babon. It's not a sin, it's not wrong. Bome haba tu abatu sabana babona because ye eta han. So rebushuku can to eta isen houting moriboni batu ba seve bome ba six iba bulawa kimushimani fela because banaba it takes. These are only reported cases, but you can ask yourself how many that are those cases that are not reported. Because a person kinta dewa uyetsa, kinta dewa le lapa ubani udependi le uyena la ushiki feza utula fela because how sebezi utofa uraka mutoarisa how to regular dijo kapa how to regular dipal. The EFS, as a, as a protest movement, has been involved in multiple community-led protests along those against GBV. The EFF has been attending court cases throughout the province to ensure that justice is served. There is a critic, the critic that we only attend cases of the prominent people, and which is true. It's not about worry. Kimang Audimu Utlameremu support or need to support all women. Instead of mama. If GPV is reported, regardless of the man, we must support that. This desk, there's a labor desk also fighters that were established in 2020 because of the challenge Yabatu Banebatla, money, the office in Zarona. Then the national took a decision to establish that desk. In the province, that desk was led by the deputy chairperson, Mashomula Majake. In all the regions, are the deputy chairperson. They were doing well to expose low support about Sebetsi, about Victor Mazwang, Miss Sebetsi. I hope it will continue to support because banally issue or bribe, hard to make about to say about Sebetsi and about to balance our confidence to us. And uh, it's wrong if fighters how low 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 represent about to over to make our The EFF Labour Desk is not a trade union. Does not operate like one. Our desk does not change or be, does not charge or bill people, but to get cases. It's our rituale. We need to to bank and in the name of EFF. We need to expose such people. The provincial leadership, because it's an ordinary rituale issue of fraud that is is amounted and is also very high, that is happening amongst everyone in the community. The desk has worked tirelessly since the inception of 2022, 2020. We have received few threats. We have even been served with court and Babang Baramata, the court of law, because they also divide us. We know we didn't take the money, but if you are not focused, we end up the believer. The National Labor Desk, under the leadership of Commissar Lengwe Mkalipi, visited Free State and conducted the training in all the regions. And after that training, it really assisted our fighters now capable of understanding what is expected from them. And after those, that, that, that workshop, we, we, we started to realize the cases are going to be to the national. The organizational building of one million membership is also a program that was launched this, this year, fighters. We are not target as a province. Here we need to reach one million, and they are reaching that are lagging behind. Lijueli putwa, tabo mufuta nyana, mangau. If you only pick up your socks, you are not gonna reach your target. You are one million. Come end of 2020, and you are going to embarrass us. So please, the leadership of those regions, don't a clear program of action and the leadership of the province to assist those regions to make sure who require the target in time because the target if today nalidi number says alona worried the organization should always come first before our interest we have established that the economic freedom fighters are the only driving force for the economic liberation of africa 
we can therefore never have a situation where the organization is compromised at all cost because of contestation. Fighters. EFFIP lele di dulo, lele conference. Our enemy is not us within this, in, in this world. Our enemy is a white monopoly capital, not us. You must stop seeing us as enemy, halilinali di different views. We are all members of the EFF. We can't even speak to one another. You take this thing very personally. Liputse hore ha u qata u elector le nana le tlo ba le dajwang batho ba. You must stop what you are doing. It's wrong. Everyone on the right to contest. But it doesn't make us enemies. Fighters. The issue of gatekeeping is also a problem that we need to stop. If a person illiterate or blogger in your words, we don't want them to receive their membership because it must stop also the issue of gatekeeping. Let's allow those fighters who never leave the EFF but not join other parties. But if you are not a member of the EFF, but if you are not a member why are you not a member of membership? Why? Because reprogramming your recruiter one million. That is why we are stuck. We don't grow because Halibatu receive the membership sabatu. We will forever advocate for women, whether manka bawarata, and we will never be intimidated. Young people and marginalized group to be on the driving force of social and economic transformation. In doing this, it does not mean we should just be propelled whoever for the sake of having a young person or a women leadership position. Quality is something we need to strive for. The contribution of the women in the growth and the development of the, of the EFF will not be trampled upon by those who believe women and are beneath them. No one will reduce us as a slogans. These are the roses of the revolution. We are fighters. We join, we fill the form ready fighters. Hurry the roses. The only, the only way we are going to have quality membership of women is when we build from the bottom. It's in from top. We need to go to VDs and identify women. And those who have potential, allow them to grow. We need a vibrant and active branches that do not only exist for assembles and elective of leadership. We need 24 uh, leaders that are available to all the time when people, they want them. It's in Bashayang, that event. Organizational discipline is now for utmost important in our quest for economic emancipation. Our EFF public representatives and members should not be seen as a replica of the ANC. When they are found in, involved in a corruption activity, we should, they must be reported. We should always maintain the highest morale and discipline. Be guided by our revolutionary code of, the, code of discipline at all times. And be wary of being found, found wanting that bring the organization into disrepute. Because you are about the power, you must come, God is getting to the CEO to destroy the organization. Commissars and fellow fighters, within the spirit of public representative, should know what, what their responsibility are and ensure they attain all the council, they, they attend all their council meeting when they are needed. They also attend the committees because you have councillors who never attend section 80 meetings. When you ask a report, Hana report, how you bata, Ibekari Wamulanza. You are a councillor. We are earning every month. You don't attend. And if the chairperson of the portfolio committee does not call that committee, we are now right. We are as corrupt as that person. Because you must force that person that chairperson of that committee, to call the meeting and we be doing that in writing so that we are doing that in writing. But we are doing for the whole year with a confusion not attending. Commissars and fellow fighters, we must make sure we are attending the meeting 
and you attend the caucus before you go to the council city. And they are deliberate agenda. Is an agenda we in the council. We are left or right. Public representatives should work hand in hand as a deployee with the structures of the economic freedom fighters. Is in a council of banana super hero and undermine the branch. We are steadfast and energetic in consolidating the ground towards the socialist power as we take in action against the racist and financial sector in this province and the country as entire, the country entire. We declare fighters. And as we conclude, we could like to send our sincere condolences to all those fighters who lost their lives once and the lives of their, uh, the, uh, on their lives once, and the lives of their loved ones between the period of 2018 to 2022. Because we had the members of the PCD, the members of the region, the councillors, the branches, in our term of office. Their contribution, we must never forget them. We must always salute them. May their soul rest in peace. We'd like to show appreciation to the economic freedom fighters of Lesotho who just had their election in 2022. The organization in Lesotho is growing with something that also we need also to support them. I don't think we did very well to support them. That is why Basahona Obama Emu Nerwabati. If Nereba supportile, Kabatu, Erbatsiban, the relatives of Zabona, Rabatusa Raema Mieding. Rabatusa mani fix back. Rabatusa mani mononsa. Ra ema di bota geti nzekara South Africa. Hurabata South Africa rabatlo reka. Ribatlo eza skali bala EFF in Lesotho. Ngabe EFF isaba mo ilinte. Our support and the unity of EFF across the continent are paramount important to us. It is the only way we will attain the united Africa Ella Badrua Kibon Tataruna, Ella Nelanke Commander in Chief. Amanda, thank you very much. Amanda, Amanda. Fellow fighters and leadership, uh, due to time constraints, as we thank uh, Provincial Chair Commissar Monday with the political report for the work done by this PCT for the past four years, we immediately call the Provincial Secretary, Commissar uh, Malifani Musimanga to come and present the organizational report. We are against time fighters. We are straight to go into organizational report. Amanda, what's about you, Pinel, Aliena? Amanda, my boy, he Africa. My buye, no magubios, utiyas, osiyas, no magubios, osiyas. No ma bese tubolas, besi shayas, besi bopas. No ma bese tubolas, besi shayas, besi bopas. Kubi 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 os. No ma kubis, no ma kubis, kubi kubi kubios, no ma kubis, no ma kubis, no ma kubis.
Itumale mas Itumale mas Itumonga melis Aus Itumale mas Itumale mas Itumonga melis Amanda Amanda Amanda, my boy, here Africa. Let's have it. 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 Uh, fighters, let me greet you in the name of the revolution. Our struggle, economic freedom in our lifetime. Let me take this opportunity to greet the Secretary General, Commissar Marshal Thami, of the fastest growing political party in Africa. The Central Command Team leaders present here today outgoing officials of the province, members of provincial command team, regional command team. Oh, I must use a short, a short sword voice. Okay. The leadership of student command, all branches across Free State, esteemed guests, members of the media. Economic Freedom Fighters is a political party that contests elections in the Republic of South Africa guided by its manifesto adopted at its first National Assembly that was held in 26th, 27th of July in 2022 20, uh, under the theme What is to be done? In, 20, in 2013, under the theme What is to be done? Our founding manifesto states that EFF contests political power in order to capture state and then transform the economy to total emancipation of black South Africans, especially Africans. It's saddening to witness that, that 28 years of political freedom have not borne much significance to the people of Free State and South Africa. This is the report of Provincial Command Team to the Fed Provincial People's Assembly of the Economic Freedom Fighters, covering four-year period of the second PC, uh, Provincial People's Assembly. The report is presented to the third PPA today to account on the work done, including highlighting accomplishments and challenges encountered, encountered and suggest solutions going forward. We have assembled here today to account on you, delegates of the Third uh, Provincial People's Assembly and the people of Free State, on the mandate that was given in 2018. The PPA is an elective conference of the EFF, which, amongst other things, adopt resolutions and will guide politics and programs of the EFF in the province. Not so long ago, 8th and the 9th September 2018, we gathered in a similar fashion under similar arrangements at Mvelo Lodge in Plumfonden to elect second provincial leadership of the Free State, which is, was tasked with a huge responsibility of building vibrant, strong organization, fighting corruption, championing the interest of people of Free State, growing the organization, subsequently dethrone the corrupt ANC out of power. We remain unapologetic about the idea of land expropriation without compensation, the total economic emancipation of our people. Moreover, our conviction remains the same that state custodianship of the land will benefit um, the landless and the poorest sector of South African population. It remains sad reality that the ruling party has failed and continue to fail to reimagine local government 
and municipalities for post-apartheid South Africa. Our municipalities are riddled with corruption and are no consequences as official, uh, municipal officials are not answerable to citizens. The, dis the dysfunctional state of free state municipalities is alarming. While individuals continue to milk and pocket the resources meant for infrastructural development, improving the better and uh, improvement of better uh, livelihoods of the people of free state. 28 years into democracy, our communities continue to struggle with basic services like electricity, water supply under the leadership of the ANC. We are pleased to report to the enemies of progress, doomsayers, that what we, they anticipated has remained nothing but a myth. Maybe it is about time that we wake, they wake up from trends and whisper, and we wake up from trends and whisper into their ears that the EFF is still around, that we are here to stay. They said we are still born and we will not exist beyond five years. To their surprise, the mighty vanguard uh, of the people is still intact, continues to grow like a papua tree. The EFF remains the only hope for the South African society and its politics. In this regard, it, is, it has continued to advance and to advance change and economic transformation of the, uh, for the conditions of the poorest, the downfrodden, forgotten, marginalized people of our communities through seven non-negotiable cardinal pillars. It is important to note that during 2019, the focus of the provincial command team was on the national and provincial elections, which took place on the 8th of May on, of, the, of that year. This was because immediately after the second provincial people's assembly, we had to immediately commence with preparations of national and provincial elections to ensure that on the 8th of May, the 8th of May finds us with a very oiled machine, election, elect, elections machine, machinery and ready for power contestation. It is also imperative to note that during the period of 2020, 2021, and 2022, the organization was preoccupied with organizational endeavors to adapt to new strainers environment imposed on us by COVID-19 lockdown regulations, which demanded of us to reduce physical contact with not only our entire membership, but entire population of our province. We had to strike balance fighters between life of the EFF and that of its members. As COVID-19 pandemic is a life-threatening disease, which depends on human physical contact for its survival. At some point, the organization for its visibility on the ground had to depend entirely on public representatives who were doing oversight under risky conditions. Having observed material conditions and the need to adapt to COVID-19, the organization has undergone recruitment drives with the intentions of reviving and building the organization from where we left off in 2020 March. We thank you for your patience at up to this hour to receive a report. The, the report will cover the will, will cover term of provincial command team under the following uh, headings and subheadings. Provincial command team. Provincial command team is composed of collective and duly elected leadership of the organization in the province. These are democratic structures which execute the organizational line, implement directives of the organization, provide credible and reliable leadership to the people. These structures are guided by central command team led by President, uh, the Commander-in-Chief, President Julius Malem, together with convener of deployees, Commissar Puabamato, and other CCT deployees here in Free State, Commissar Kodrishkadi, 
Komisar Yoli Sayaku, Komisar eh, Nazer Polsi. Second Provincial People's Assembly directly elected the following officials. Commissar Mandisa Makesin, Commissar Sankum Simanga, Fighter Mashomula Machake, Fighter Mapole di Poko, Fighter eh, Sipati Nanyan. Additional members elected to Second Provincial People's Assembly are as written below. Accordingly, the second Provincial People's Assembly was constituted by 21 elected members. Owing to resignations and members missing more than three consecutive meetings automatically removed uh, from the PCT, the PCT was left with few vacancies which then necessitated reinforcement of the Provincial Command Team structures. The following fighters resigned. Mr. Khotso Murapela, a fighter Morena Salman. It must be noted that Mr. Khotso Murapela, after resigning, decided to leave organization and rejoin the corrupt African National Congress. The organization accepted all resignations. Furthermore, the organization for uh, uh, the following fighters forfeited their positions in the provincial command team due to abscondment. Fighter Tashi Achanji, Fighter Pumelele Kanye, Fighter Matsidiso Musia, Fighter Jinet Nyoko. It is also imperative to highlight that various uh, interventions were made to accommodate the above fighters, including redeployment to their area near to their respective locations. In terms of section 20, uh, subsection 4 and 5 of the Constitution of the Economic Freedom Fighters, the PCT shall have the right to replace four members who leave the PCT due to death, expulsion, resignation over the period of four-year term. Furthermore, the PCT shall have the right to co-opt to four additional members for whatever reasons proposed in its four-year term. It was in line with these con constitutional provisions that the leadership of province saw it befitting to co-opt fighters to fill vacancies which existed within the PCT. Aritza Maisi, Aritza Maisi ki moya, Aritza Maisi ki constitution ya EFF. As at this third PPA, the following uh, co-option and replacements were made. Fighter Tabo Mkwaishi was co-opted 2021. Fighter Edi Koliav uh, was replacing, was a replacement in 2021, fighter Aretham Tomben in 2022 was co-opted. Fighter Sharon Gongota in 2022 also was uh, taken into the PCT to clarify uh, a replacement. Fighter Mapaseka Mtaung in 2022 co-option. Fighter Zolile Mashika co-option. Fighter Tebo Swaisa 2022 replacement. So, Neresebedisa, that lost your constitution over Kenya. The organization only lost one co opted PCT member on account of death, being Fighter A.D. Goliath, who passed away May 2021. May his soul rest in peace. In total, the second PCT lost. Seven directly elected PCT members of, for various reasons alluded above. As, as at this third provincial people's assembly, Free State PCT is as follows. Between 2018 and 2022, the provincial command team convened 33 meetings 
these meetings were a combination of physical and virtual gatherings, as well as all that, as well as we all know that the corona pandemic entirely altered normal way of doing things. With the provincial offices remaining in Bloemfontein, the PCT continued uh, to guide lower structures, including disseminating central command team and war council decisions. I get why coordinating structure, so we are disseminating. The reinforcement of provincial command team remains stable and constitutionally compliant with 21 elect. Uh, 21 active members after co-option replacement emanating from resignations members being removed missing more than three consecutive meetings without apology the elected provincial command team together with regional chairs and secretaries student command provincial chair and secretary makes up the, the provincial command team the fef the eff student command is represented in the pct by its provincial chair Fighter Nkabani Slepe and Provincial Secretary Fighter Mohaw Sehel, respectively. Prior to Second People's uh, uh, Student Assembly, the EFF Student Command in the province was represented by Fighter Jerry Toga and Fighter Tapelo Williams, respectively, uh, in the Provincial Command team as, an, as ex officio members. Provincial Coordinating Command has met 10 times uh, under, in, in the peri under period review. The provincial com uh, com uh, coordinating command has composition of six members elected from provincial command team together with the officials in the province, the chairperson of student command who sits in the PCC meetings on an ex officio status. In total, the PCC is made up of 12 members. Composition remains intact. The provincial command is responsible for day-to-day -day organizational activities, ensuring proper coordinating implementation of economic freedom fighters uh, decisions at the provincial level. PCC is composed of the following commissars and fighters. PCT committees. In addition to official PCT, has the following key departments, committees headed by the PCT members. Two point four officials. The officials consistently meet uh, to process organizational meeting matters brought to their attention, and continuously push for implementation of organizational resolutions. In the under period review, officials in the province engaged in various activities. All activities were in line with the organizational mandate. The officials were always at the forefront of organizational program, leading by example with ground forces at the picket lines. The office of the provincial chairperson. The Provincial chairperson, the, the provincial chairperson plays integral, integral role in articulating, defending the organizational view on broad range of matters at the provincial level. Furthermore, the provincial chairperson is a political head of, and the leader of the organizational activities in the province. The provincial chairperson also heads the provincial uh, governance task unit, the GTU. All governance-related issues in the provincial office in the province in the province and she has she has to ensure that there's a synergy from national and all the way to the provincial local level of the governance the second provincial people's assembly of the free state elected commissar mandi samakesini as the provincial chairperson the provincial chairperson is deployed in fazileda where she is deployed with fighter Viki Mutlung Fighter Tau Muletani Muletan Muletan Murana Muletan Fighter Letuani Soteti. All deployees honored their deployment report as required. Provincial chairperson continued to chair all meetings of the provincial command team, the provincial coordinating command without fail. 
the commencement of every PCT meeting. The provincial chairperson was not, has not failed to provide political direction. All engagements with it and reply to inputs and organization. During the provincial and local government elections, provincial chairperson together with the collective of the province embarked on the grassroots campaigns as the, as the essential ground forces of the organization. These programs were characterized by aggressive door-to-door -door community meetings, rallies, extensive community and provincial media engagements. Provincial chairperson successfully led various organizational activity, activities, including court appearance, service delivery matches across province to voice out discontent on, the pro, on, the peop, on behalf of the people of free state to those who are in power. On the 22nd of August, provincial chairperson visited uh, Rifitlet's combined school in Virgir de Flay, Masilonyana, to donate shoes to destitute peoples. Moreover, the office of the provincial chairperson ensured that all attendees of Women's Day program that was held in Moeman and Marquardt received gifts as token of appreciation to all mothers and women who raised, who raised activists and continues to sustain our black communities. In addition, provincial chairperson played an active role in mobilization and organizing ninth anniversary that was held in Free State on the 30th of July 2022. The following committees are headed by provincial chairperson, media and communication, political education, and account of work done is as follows. Media and, and communication department. Communication Department in Free State is headed by a Provincial Chairperson, Commissioner Mandisa. In the office of the Provincial Chairperson, we have Medializing Officer, Fighter Patience Debat. Second Provincial People's Assembly was held in Fentersberg. A, a second Provincial Plenum, sorry, of Free State. Second provincial plenum of free state that was held in uh, Fentersberg on the 5th of February 2022 uh, resolved on other things, on, amongst other things that branches, regions and province must create uh, accounts uh, of, of social media platforms to inform and clarify pro and promote issues of organization. In responding to that, to that call, Provincial Media Communications Department created a TikTok account on behalf of the province. The communication department was covered by was has covered various organizational programs and activities, including Black Lives Matters, Clicks Protest, Senegal Rally. Moreover, the department continues to facilitate interviews of commissars fighters to participate on behalf of organization. Below is a summary of a, a programs activities covered by communications department from August 2019 to 2022 November. The office of the provincial chairperson has released statement, total number of statements 44. Uh, from August up until to date, which were all shared among, uh, on our social media platform to all media houses in the province. Media engagements. Communication department coordinated mentioned interviews on various issues within our province and organization since uh, August 2019. Presser. On the 30th of August 2021, all systems were set. The communications office was responsible for live streaming the press that was addressed by provincial chairperson, Commissar Mandisa, a provincial office in Bloemfontein. Press was covered by three media houses, SABC, OFM, 
Free State Online and the CDFA. Social media platforms. Kids say we the platform at Aruna. It's a social media. Follow us at Aruna Dijual in all different accounts. Fighters. We ruta or le runa jolo kama fight. Kami la participate participate da holo mo intonsa di midi. Ta ta social media. Political education. In the period under review, there has been four political education programs organized, ran by political education committee led by the chairperson. The provincial chairperson continued to advocate for women, children, to offer unwavering support to all victims of gender-based violence across the province. Provincial chairperson continues to play an active role in mass recruitment membership towards one million recruitment drive. Provincial Deputy Chairperson, uh, Provincial Deputy Chairperson, together with Provincial Chairperson, constitute Office of Provincial Chairperson in the province. Amongst other tasks and roles, he assists the chairperson whenever uh, such assistance is required and deputized in absence of the Provincial Chairperson. The second Provincial People's Assembly elected Fighter Mahlomula Majake is Deputy Provincial Chairperson. Deputy Provincial Chairperson is the head of a political, a Provincial Disciplinary Committee in the province, with governance being in the office of the Provincial Chairperson. The Deputy Chairperson is, a, is the Chief Whip of Organization in the Provincial Legislature. The Deputy Chairperson is, the, is also heading Labor Desk in the province. The Provincial Deputy Chairperson is deployed in Karib, where he is deployed with fighter Nkaiseng, uh, Shali, and fighter Makosini Chabang. All deployees honor their, honor their deployment, report as required. As the custodians of discipline in the province, the deputy provincial chairperson continues to ensure that all fighters who conduct themselves in line with all fighters do conduct themselves in line with the code of conduct and revolutionary discipline. That those who act contrary violates uh, or violates the constitution of the EFF are punished accordingly. In addition, the provincial deputy chairperson played an active role in the mobilization and organizing of ninth anniversary that was held in Free State 30th July 2022. The provincial deputy chairperson continues to play an active role in mass recruitment of the organization towards one million membership target. The office of the provincial secretary. The provincial, check, the provincial secretary, this office is composed of the provincial secretary and deputy provincial secretary. The provincial secretary is Commissar Malfani Simanga, as elected by Second uh, Provincial People's Assembly and continues to be the head of administration in the province. The provincial secretary continues uh, to communicate all decisions from central command team through set Secretary General's office for processing. Furthermore, the provincial secretary plays a key role in oversight and record keeping in the provincial office. The provincial secretariat's office continues to function as mandated by the constitution to ensure that the work of the, of the EFF is undertaken daily. The office of the the office is at, uh, at, the office administered by provincial secretary deals with administrative issues inclusive of membership management, correspondence, monitoring of general work of the organization. The provincial secretary has convened secretariat meetings with secretaries of the region to ensure administratively the organization continues to be the vanguard of our people. These meetings ensured that the central command team or council and provincial command team, provincial coordinating command decisions are communicated well understood by regions and in the province. Provincial Secretariat Office con continues to coordinate and monitor one million membership recruitment program of the organization in the province to ensure that the set target is reached or before the, the December 2022. Moreover, the Office of the Provincial Secretary continues 
to monitor the process of membership capturing across their province to ensure that regions do, through their secretary's report, submit captured membership according. Provincial secretary is responsible for legal matters in the province. With legal matters being administered by provincial secretary, provincial secretary continue to make a request for legal assistance on behalf of uh, fighters and students who are undergoing court processes for cases relating to suspension, court interdict, unlawful arrest, unlawful evictions. All these requests were made through Office of the Secretary General, Commissar Marshal Lamin, who always responded promptly and showed that such assistance was received. Provincial Secretary opened number of cases against corrupt ANC officials in the province and further intervened various cases that were brought to his attention. These cases include a murder case of a black African male who was beaten to death by what white scrapyard owner in Paris. The murder case involving three members of Mabizela family who were brutally killed by a white farmer. Cases involving five, a white farmer who tracked a black, black people with a bike in Kronstadt. We are pleased to report that intervention of provincial security led to arrest of scrapyard owner in Par of Paris, Mabizela family case being reviewed. This was, it was after National Prosecuting Authority had refused to entertain the matter of the Afroside family, claiming that the white fellow acted in, in self-defense. It is also worth noting that white farmer of Kronstadt was incarcerated for three weeks after the intervention of provincial secretary. Furthermore, the provincial secretary lodged a case with the Office of Public Protector against the Premier of Free State who was found to be trying to influence the uh, administration of the department to award tender to one of her cronies without following due processes. A similar case was lodged with Office of the Public Protector against the President of the Republic of South Africa who did not act in line with Section 217 of the Constitution uh, to acquire Shanduga tender. This is despite Section uh, 217 explicitly affirming that when an organ of state contracts for goods and services, it must do so in accordance with principles of fairness, equitability, transparency, and competitiveness, cost effectiveness. Provincial Secretary, together with the leadership collective of the province, continues to, to be at the forefront of the farm worker struggle in, the, in trying to ensure that justice is served on those who were previously wronged and fairly treated by the biased criminal justice system which favored the farm, the farm owners. It was, of, it was the office of the provincial secretary which has ensured that the provincial commissioner of police commissioner attends to ensure affect, affecting, affected farmer and farm tenants and meeting uh, of their grift. Emanating from this meeting were open cases of perpetrators, subs, officials who were involved in obstructing justice. Provincial Secretary has since escalated the matter involved, involved stakeholders, role players such as Free State Human Rights Commission, which is fully committed to conduct investigation regarding the livelihoods of the farm dwellers and labor tenants. There's inquiry fighters around that issue. In attempts to expose and uproot corruption, the Free State Provincial Secretary opened a case of alleged corruption against the Department of Roads, Police, Roads and Transport, which continues to misuse uh, taxpayers' money blatantly. This case is ongoing. Furthermore, the Provincial Secretary, working together with Police Department and Environmental Affairs, embarked, embarked on oversight inspection to check and remove all expired food from tax shops, well-known uh, food outlets, including spas, shop right, shoppies, to mention few. This operation took place in Mwate, local municipality, for May 2020, which was a success. Moreover, the provincial secretary was also actively involved 
in police inquiries, inquiries regarding stock theft in free state farms where on one of the occasion he was accompanied, accompanied by provincial police commissioner to Tabum Futsanyan where the Afrocite investigation were ferret. We can confirm that inquiries in question are, are concluded that we are awaiting the outcomes of the report. On the 16th February 2022, the provincial secretary visited famous patients of asbestos-related illness in Mkaka Kronstadt to monitor further, to, uh, to monitor their conditions and offer moral support. Uh, provincial secretary engaged in soup kitchen program between 2021, uh, 21, 20, uh, 20, uh, 21, 22 July 2022, where elderly and patients received pro, uh, bread and what what in that. Uh, let me just jump those things. The provincial uh, during his term of office, provincial secretary donated school shoes in Tabomu Futsanyan in Ketuan Dishabeng sub region respectively. In another instance, provincial secretary together with fighters, fighter Letuani Sote at Amima Siteng managed to fundraise 70 pairs of shoe, typhus shoes, uh, school shoes, and donated them to Dennisville. Provincial Secretary secured... <laughs> Provincial Secretary secured... Spon uh, spo uh, se Provincial Secretary secured sponsorship for centers, for center he adopted in Tsekiso of NA school, which saw all mutual donating washing machine, microwave, 420 liter of paint, school uniforms, sneakers, food and blankets, worth of 80,000 to 28 uh, children in Smithfield. <laughs> the provincial secretary is deployed in Tavo Mfutsanyan, where he is deployed with fighter Jomo Kunong, Pakima Fojani, Tebo Swaisa, Fighter Aratham Tombe, all deployees honor their deployments report as required. Provincial Secretary also heads uh, the Committee of Elections campaign on behalf of the province in the, ten, in the tenor of second uh, provincial command team. The, provincial, the province participated in provincial elections, local government elections, by elections, which later will be discussed in the report. In addition, Provincial Secretary played a key role in mobilization, organizing of the ninth anniversary, which was held in Plumfontein. Provincial Secretary continues to play an active role in mass recruitment of membership towards a one million membership. The Deputy Secretary is the office of the Deputy, Deputy Secretary. The, Deputy, uh, the Provincial Deputy Secretary is office is occupied by fighter Mapeule Dipoko, who is charged with responsibility to deputize the provincial secretary, overseeing provincial office personnel. Furthermore, the deputy provincial secretary administered secretariat meetings whenever the provincial secretary was engaged with other organizational work. Uh, provincial secretary, the deputy provincial secretary was the provincial secretary deployed uh, during that program of ninth anniversary. Uh, clustered the program into those four clusters, and the, the cluster of uh, fighter Mapeule Dipoko was was constituting of what nine, what ten, what eleven, what twelve, what forty six, what fifty one during preparatory stage. You would remember we had a very massive meeting in Ward 51. So the Provincial Deputy Secretary, together with a leadership collective of the province, assisted fighters of transport whenever there were organizational activities. The Provincial Deputy Secretary is deployed in Lijole Puzwa, where he is deployed with fighter Baba Sabulao, fighter Sharon Kongota, fighter Baba Lo, Hall, all deployees honor their deployment report as required. In addition, the Deputy Provincial Secretary played an active role in coordination, mobilization 
of ninth anniversary that was held in Free State. Deputy Provincial Secretary continues to play an active role in the recruitment of membership towards one million membership. Provincial Treasurer, the Provincial Treasurer is fighter Sipati Nanyan and is responsible for finance and fundraising and organizational assets at the provincial level. In, in under a uh, period review, Provincial Treasurer's office has fundraised to ensure that uh, there are refreshments, water for fighters whenever there are Red Fridays uh, in an area of deployment. Moreover, the Provincial Treasurer ensured that GBV desk continues to function for the duration that fighter Vicky Mutlong was away due to illness. There was a case of a lady who was physically assaulted by her boyfriend in Clockland, which was also attended by the provincial treasurer in support of the victim. In one of the instances, the provincial treasurer accompanied a fighter uh, toward eight in Bloemfontein to the police station to apply for protection order against an abusive husband who had just been released on bail uh, from police custody. The Office of Provincial Treasurer was actively involved in all activities uh, in preparatory stage in, and in the preparatory stage leading to the ninth anniversary of the EFF. These activities included mass mobilization, postering, pre-birth celebration, we culture old age center, transport coordination, amongst others. Provincial Treasurer is deployed in Mangaum, where she is deployed with fighters. Mukwaishi, Fighter Mapaseka Mtaum, Fighter Zulile Mashika, Tabo Mashia. All these deployees honor their deployment required as, as, as required. Provincial Treasurer, together with the leadership collective of the province, played an active role in organizing, coordinating the transport for one million membership. Furthermore, the provincial treasurer continues to play an active role towards mobilization. Yet I get one million. And then we move to Central Command Team deployees. Former uh, Treasurer General Commissar Lien Mateis was deployed, was officially deployed in Free State at the beginning of our second term, our second uh, National People's Assembly. All other CCT deployees to the province prior to amendment of deployment were Commissar Mabatu, Mukause, Commissar Sheli Mkhotu, uh, Commissar Tembi Msani, Commissar Ntokozo Hlonyani, uh, Commissar Nazir Polsi. There was a time where the then Treasurer General Commissar Lien Mateis was replaced by Commissar Godrich Gadi, former Secretary General. Then the Deputy President, Commissar Floyd Shibam, respectively, as officials deployed to our province. Our province is lucky. We've had a number of officials. Central Command Team deployees to Free State respectively executed their mandate in line with CCT and war council decisions. This included attending to their area of deployment, monitoring, guiding the province region they were deployed to, ensuring that there is proper implementation of CCT and PCT resolution, as well as management of day-to-day -day functions of the province. We must really appreciate their contribution because they are forever in free state. Sekar Keba Aibamu. Presently, the Commander-in-Chief, President Julius Silo Malema, is official deployed in Free State. Alongside CCT, convener of deployees in the province, Commissar Puaba Matokwe, other CCT deployees to the province, Commissar Yolo Sayako, Commissar Nazir Paulson. Commissar Godric Kadi was, it was the fourth Central Command Team deployee to Free State before being redeployed to Western Cape towards end of August. Due to family commitments, Commissioner Kodrish Kadi was unable to honor some of his deployments. You'd remember what Commissioner Kodrish Kadi had to go through, but 
in some of the deployments he was there and he was a crown force was leading from the front uh, the overall conduct uh, of deployees to free state is commendable they have executed required tasks uh, office provincial office the provincial office is located at the Renayan Charlotte Matake Street, second floor, room 201, Stabilitas Building, one of the busiest streets in Bloemfontein, with a high volume of people passing by. The provincial office encounters an average of 35 walkings during uh, on, okay, walkings daily from community members for various legal issues, requesting intervention, and other matters seeking service delivery intervention are, are then sent to uh, public representatives at the province, at the, uh, to address them. It will depend. If you need a, a member of legislature, we will delegate that member of legislature. I need that the councillors will do so. That's how we deal with issues at the provincial office. It is important to know that most of provincial office personnel is employed fully um, on permanent basis and this is a clear indication that organization is growing because previously when the organization was still forming at a formative stage, the EFF had no employees relied heavily, heavily, heavily on fighters who were voluntary. Composition of provincial office legislature staff uh, Fighters, Kibao, eh, Mono. The late fighter Taboleku was an occupant of elections manager's position before succumbing to death due to coronavirus. May his soul rest in peace. The late fighter played integral role in assisting the organization during election. The election manager position was, has since remained vacant, the passing of fighter Leku. Moreover, the position of labor desk administrator remains vacant due to resignation of fighter Chardonnay Sturman, who has joined the, the Free State Department of Justice. On 27 October 2022, fighter Sonobi Letoaba also resigned, leaving the vacancy uh, in the position of research. Earlier in 2020, the organization parted ways with the then provincial administrator for issues relating to tantamount to putting the name of the organization into this report, tracking the name of the organization in social media platform. This is despite the organization having its own internal dispute resolution mechanisms for any of its staff members who may have, dis uh, have dissatisfaction. Former uh, employee in question then took the organization to CCMA, subsequently labor court. A case of unfair dismissal was lodged with the case number P35-20. The matter was concluded in 2022 after the organization won the case against the former employee. As much as all staff members, are personnel account to provincial secretary, these fighters are also expected to provide administrative support to committees when they convene their meetings. Fighters, this is a state side the provincial office is alone. For instance, uh, so I'll quickly just rush. All the offices of the organization, all the offices of EFF in the province remain operational until the lockdown that was announced by President of Republic of South Africa, subsequently the Central Command Team of EFF, which continued to monitor developments of the pandemic, advising, advised accordingly from time to time when offices should and should not be open. During relaxation of COVID-19, lockdown regulation to level two. The headquarters directed the province and regions to satisfy, to satisfy themselves of safety and, and take precautionary measures to open the offices. The following personnel 
protective equipment were acquired, sanitizers, masks, thermometers, hand gloves, face shields, safety, uh, uh, safety and readiness of, the, of both provincial office and legislature was taken into consideration. All five regional offices were fumigated, namely Mangawung, Fezile Daabili Jweli Putwa, Tabo Mfuzanyan and Kharib. As the as at this third provincial people's assembly, all regional offices, provincial offices, all in uh, are in full operation with full complement of uh, staff complement. Membership as per mandate of second people's national people's assembly, the province has been in compliance with organizational mandate of consolidating the ground towards socialist power. Uh, continue to hit the call for one million membership by, by or before the December 2022. So you can't be a Leninist or also build these structures. Furthermore, when the organization system at the headquarters was produced, the first report indicated that the province has the weakest link in the entire country as 47% of, of wards in the province did not have membership, with biggest challenge being Lijuel Puto and Tabom Futsanyan. However, we are pleased to report that those regions have recovered and all part of the organizational report. As at its third provincial people's assembly, the, the province has total of fighters 44,000 membership. As updated on uh, as compared to 25,896 in 2018, towards Second People Assembly. This statistic is clear indication that the province is indeed growing, given a um, 51% increase in 2022. However, our collective conviction is that we can better if we can do better if our we double efforts and channel all our region our energies towards organizational growth commissars and fighters if we are really serious about removing the anc in 2024 and taking power we must be permanently on the ground we must be locked on the ground because re the reality is that uh, 2.9 residents of free state are still on lockout on lookout for an alternative organization that will improve their living conditions, like SG and Zachul. It must also be mentioned that for the first time in history of, of this province, the, the HQ printed and delivered large batch of membership cards, which were subsequently sent to respective regions. And in attempt to grow the membership base of the organization, we must ensure that this is no sec there's no sector of society that is neglected, more especially uh, the working class, unemployed, graduates, church formations, sports, and supporters, because these are the people who will contribute enormously towards victory of the EFF. Come 2024, if proper relations are forged with, with them, this relationship must not be formed only at the time of elections, but even during ordinary times when voting and elections are not involved. So membership report. membership total membership in good standing. Yale Bon Samun forty four thousand one hundred and three. Remo and province. Abu Michael Wani Kama ne ba shule alo luncha ma branch. We are doing extremely well as CFF. On elections fighters, free state election report. The EFF founding man is first adopted by the EFF National Assembly on what is to be done on the 26, 27. July 2013, as Renzer Buar, July 20, 
uh, Wajulai movement inspired by the likes of Fidel Castro state that economic freedom fighters will contest political power because we are guided by the firm belief that we, are, we, we need political power in order to capture state, then transform economy for the emancipation of black South Africans, especially Africans. The, the forms in which EFF contests political power will from time to time be reviewed in light of prevailing circumstances, but primary role of mass organization and activism as a means to raise the political consciousness of, of the people will remain the bedrock of our political practice. Therefore, it is of this reason that the organization in its character will always contest all elections as a form of contesting political power. But second PPA to date, uh, between second PPA to date, which is the period under review, the organization contested 2019 national provincial elections, 2021 local government election, municipal elections. This section of report is meant to give account by giving a brief synopsis of election results. In 2019 national provincial elections, out of 1,462,508 registered voters in Free State, with a, we, we've had a voter turnout of 900,000. The organization received 105,228 1, votes on national, received 11. Uh, one, uh, organization received 111,427 on the provincial ballot. There was a difference of 6,119 votes between two ballots. Tabo Mufutsanyan Mangaung, followed by Fezile Dabi region, performed well to, to other regions in the province. And then report to here are Jewetar perform measure. We believe that we can also do far better in Jujwe Putwa because in terms of population it is the third, third largest region in the province. Reality is that there was a minimal growth in twenty in twenty nineteen national provincial election. The organization received less than 100 in 15 words, more, more than 100 in 291 words, more than 1,000 in three words. Out of 319 IEC words, which, rep which represent 94% of EFF potential branches in the province, the province received four members of a uh, legislature seats one NCOP uh, member. Uh, all, to, all of the people who are in the country city the city. The Free State is represented in the National Assembly by fighter Taumule Tsani. We are represented in the National Assembly. Overall, the organization grew from two seats to four in 2019. And this growth significantly reduced the workload on the shoulders of our, our then two legislature members, allowed the four MPL to split committee even, uh, committees evenly and more effectively. In 2021 local government elections, a total of 51 political parties contested uh, the 2021 local government election in Free State. 1,705,022 1, valid votes were counted. The organization received uh, 266 votes, an increase in 9% in 2016. And then 2021, we, we grew, re increased the upper to 12%. The organization received less than 100 votes in 56 words, received more than 100 in 263 words. 
The organization is the third largest party in the province after DA. The organization has total, the province has total of 1.4 million uh, people who are registered to vote. An account of five, uh, it accounts for 5.6% uh, of total registered voters in South Africa. 643,414 people turned out to vote in 2021 local government elections. A voter turnout was 42%. The, prov the province established Provincial Election Task Force, convened by Provincial Chairperson Commissioner Mandisa Makesin, coordinated by Provincial Secretary Malfan Msimang, under the guidance of Deputy President Commissioner Floyd Shibam. was very strict, by the way. Uh, we had to have stages uh, to arrive in time, do proper reporting. It was very tough, but at the very same time be disciplined. The organization contested all wards in the province, received votes in all wards, did not receive votes in 65 voting districts. The, de the decrease from 98 in 2016, which means we only progress. The organization grew its seat from 70 in 2016 to 90 in 2021 local government elections. Akeli Chapele Mazole Sevedit. You know, at times, Renalona and Akiruna Joloka provincial command, but you were there as ground forces leading from the front. It's a collective effort. Uh, the organization, uh, the organization won two ward seats in Metima Hall local local municipality, being ward eight and ward twenty-three. I think bar bar pumuzi di kele di nere tsawa ke province tse di wa rena di wa dere tol, but at least the ati ba reme tse ada di by elections we are ready to take what's moving forward. We are province of what's are palu di ranks in the provinces nan di what zero. The organization grew by twenty seats and is represented in all 18 municipalities and all districts. Kennedy represented the whole only the red overalls everywhere. So here is a table. Manga U Nerenali City is nine. Right? Reho Renali City is twelve. Regain net three. Fazile Tabi District. Nerenali City Tay two, Serenali City Tay three, District Municipality in Regain Newa. Mafube, K twenty sixteen, Nerenali City A one. In fact, we not one of the rest of the city, Komafube. Now Renali City Tay three, Komafube Regain Ne two. Metima Holo, Nerenali City Tay eight, K twenty sixteen. You would remember the raya ra khutla ka city tse tsa rona tse 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 8 ke se be di tsedi resources tse nga ma re ha re bua ka ona motsotso re na le city tse 12 re ke ne city tse 4 ke mo sebetse o motla mo khaka e ne re na le city tse 4 ka 2016 re ke ditse ka city le nngwe Ka 2021. Now, we have a city in the city. 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 Nerenal City Tay Six, Rekeditaka City Tay Three, Renal City Tay Nine in Machave Nala Nerenal City Tay Five, Rekeditaka City A One, Renal City Tay Six, Yonajua Tukuloho, Nerenal City A One, Serenal City Tay Pedi, Rekeditaka City A One. Twelve Pilin Nerenal Stulo Selecing. 
ke ke ditse ka city a one se rena le city tse pedi thabo mofutsa nyana ne rena le city tse i two eh re juzitse ka city a one se rena le city a one di hlabe ne rena le city tse i three re na le city tse i four ona jwa re ke ditse ka city long maluti a pofu ne rena le city tse nine re re juzitse ka city tse i two se rena le city tse seven mantso pa ne rena le city tse i two re re ntse re na le city tse i two ka ona motsotso re a ra increase ntse re le mo nketo ana ne rena le city a one re ke ditse ka i one re na le city tse i two phumelela ne re na le city a one re ke ditse ka city tse a one re na le city tse i two setsoto ne re na le city tse i three re khutle ka city tse i three a ra iketsa mona gharipi district ne re na le city a one ntse re na le city e le nngwe kopano ne re na le city a one re na le city tse i two letse me ne re na le city a one ntse re na le city a one mohokare ne re na le city tse i two khutle ka city tse o dilii two that's why re accountant ho number fighters e se re buile ka yo but one disturbing trend fighters is that in as much as re hoots ANC ka 2019 ine na le 61 percentage 2021 ANC lost 11% but majority wa percentage e lose tse e lose tse boholo to this civic movement tsense di hlaha di mashroom at these forums tse chepesi na buangatso that we need to look into it we need to come get the resolutions but amongst other things we must check or why tse rele in position number 3 while this dae exists mainly ka ready to drop we must begin to resolve around some of those issues these are hard questions that revolutionaries must ask themselves without fear of contradictions with an aim of building a, a more sharper instrument of liberation moving forward the province has expected to establish a total of 22 sub region was expected to establish during election 22 sub regions and then we indeed gilega etsa 22 sub regions we expected to do branch election task forces that 319 renze 257 we expected retse di voting district tse 1564 ne retla meretse di voting district task forces re gonno etsa 1000 eh 1246 and then a total of 35510 people were spoken to why are no well number of fighters remember na rese shorya di elections ka pari di elections but after ho qeta o di clearwa di elections i'm sure se be tse u fin short space sa sa khwedi but hona le na kwelong hore it had to take us sleepless nights ka bo se o bole bong ka pa mabedi ke re gona register di candidate tsa rona ka o fela working together with you fighters cooperating i think also here we need to applaud ourselves because we're working together nicely hence under extreme pressure even president la ba bua ka yona nthwena na hore re tla me re ikopele matso but we owe it to our discipline as ground forces fighters on provincial programs kenana ke buile ka dikgetho after being elected in 2018 september the provincial command team immediately began to prepare for 2019 local government elections the pct engaged in massive elections campaign in 2019 eh uh, 2021 local government elections furthermore the lo the leadership collective of the province embarked on number of oversight inspection which included visit to schools hospitals clinics workplaces home affairs 
to check our compliance with COVID-19 regulations. Due to 2022 lo uh, lockdown regulation, program of action was formulated, adopted by a provincial plenum, could not, could not be implemented. You'll remember Nerele Ma, Nike, and Clan, Ntonto, Nimon, most day, Monet, try program of action. El Cabara, El Sayetan, because he rents a plenum, come March, and then the very same March, Kao Banali, Matata, uh, COVID-19. However, the province tried to adapt to new times and maneuver to ensure that organizational work was done. PCT members, public representatives also embarked on oversight visit to various sectors of society made intervention where necessary. In the under period review, there have been a rigorous membership recruitment, although weekly targets were not met by most branches in the province. Commendable work has been done. During the term of office, PCT managed where it's at this program. Skits the program and Sengao Fela Fighters that were successful in our uh, era fighters. But what Little Mayang fighters, including little branches, Little Mayang we got us Fuba Gayon as a province, get away ninth anniversary rally was organized. We never invited anyone outside our province. And we did it without any assistance from anyone listening to commands as leadership defanaka instruction. And indeed, it's only us and the ANC Bahonamotlata Stadium. I don't know of any other political parties. Se Hona Tlata Stadium Kara Free State. I'm not sure as to whether ANC is a Hona Tlata Stadium, but we did it, fighters. So, kiona e program ya lona e reyente. So, I'm going to state of the regions. E reportu ya lona itelele fighters, but kita tra or ke mat. Amanda. Ah, wa county. You must relax. All of us are fasti. Reata mo Amanda. State of regions. The province of Free State is divided into one, one metro and four districts. Bin Tabom Futsanyani, Lejueli Putwa, Fenzile Dabi, which are further subdivided into 18 local government municipalities. Tabom Futsanyan, the regional command team of Tabom Futsanyan comprises of 20 out of 20. Uh, only 19 uh, members are active an account of various deployment the rct has met 15 times since being elected in office to plan execute various organizational work amongst others was to implement directive of the cct and pct regional command team regional uh, communicate communicating with member uh, branches that an additional of 200 members Membership per branch needed to be recruited before the end of year 2020. Moreover, the region compi complied with CCT call to fight against racism, closed many clinic stores situated in Tabom Futsanyan. The region held service delivery March in Lently, 30 October 2020, engaged in other campaigns, including political induction, commemorative. Uh, events oversight uh, modicolo the the fight against illegal eviction of farm dwellers in pumelela continuous clean campaign a uh, red fridays recruitment drive to uh, tabomufutsanyan region was also coordinated uh, as Tabom Futsanyana region also coordinated the provincial labor desk match that was held in Tabom Futsanyan. I remember that match was huge. Very huge. I think it's the biggest match in a rule leader Kaborona and Tlele Otuswaki CCT. It was big. Tabom Futsanyana engaged in elections campaign in 2019-2021. The region was also instrumental in mobilization program of 
ninth anniversary. Furthermore, the RCT played an integral part in assisting in student command with membership recruitment towards second provincial student command assembly and the fourth national Assemb uh, student assembly. Moreover, the regional command team was, has also assisted the stu uh, student command during the Funda Nyankani campaign that is held annually. Fed RPA of Chabom uh, Fuzanyana elected Mohau Mulele, Fighter Mohau Mulele as a regional chairperson, Fighter Chabom Chamba Maseko as a regional secretary. The deputy chairperson, Fighter Manaku, had to step in and act in the place of Fighter Mulele during period of suspension. Out of 21 directly elected RCT members, at the third RPA, the region lost three members due to abscondment, namely fighter Jeff Villagas, Recepile Mukwena, Madite Abakumalo, fighter regional treasure Ekandur Mshoji, on account of death. May his soul rest in peace. Region remains stable with 19 active members, with fighter Nomasondo Ngozo being act uh, only an active member within the collective. The Tabo Mufutsanyana RCT is composed of 11 females, nine males, after co-opting uh, Joseph Nkiani, Emli Musiya, and Tulisi Lekhate. Kibao ye batubaro, kibana batuba. Tabo Mufutsanyana has total of 98 IEC wards. Out of 98, EFF in, has 90 confirmed active and functional branches. Towards this third provincial people's assembly, EFF in Free State in, Tabum, in, in, in the region managed to successfully launch 90 wards. Le Joel Putwa, a regional command team, comprise, comprises of 21 members. All 21 members are active and account for various deployments. Re RCT has met 10 times since being elected into office to, uh, to plan and execute various organizational programs. Among others was to implement directive and of the CCT and PCT, communicating with branches that an additional 200 me new members per branch needed to be recruited before the end of the year of 2020. Of the year 2020. Moreover, the region compiled, complied with a uh, CCT call to fight against racism and close uh, click stores situated in Lijuel Puz. Region held successful political induction for all branches and fighters of 4th uh, September 2022 and engaged in all campaigns including commemorative events oversight school of schools and other public uh, institutions visits to schools uh, report to have uh, cases of racism within the region. A march to LFC milling RCT political induction 11 April 2022, a continuous cleaning campaign, Red Fridays to recruit membership, the Jolie Puto engaged in a election campaign during national and local government elections. The region was also instrumental in mobilization of 9th EFF uh, rally. Moreover, the RCT played an integral part in assisting student command with membership recruitment at its uh, second provincial student assembly and fourth national uh, student assembly. Moreover, the region has assisted student command in Sosovunda Nyengani campaign. Third regional people's assembly elected uh, fighter Thomas McLuhan as the regional, the, uh, regional chairperson, fighter Ishmael Mukotere as the regional secretary, out of these 21, it directly elected RCT at third RPA. Region lost three members due to abscondment fighter Tato Pelule, fighter Mekezi Tejani, fighter Dikiriboni Sitebe. Further, three members due to resignation being Matabani, Kazai, Saki, Dokile, fighter Pinki Matope. The region remains stable with 21 active members. Eligible uh, to RCT is composed of 11 females, 10 males, after making three co options, four replacements. The fighters were co opted 
Asina, Brown, Dutlas, Mukalodise, Tidiso, Malusi, eh, Wild Fighter, Sipati, Sitlabi, Fighter, Ishmael, Siani, and Fighter, Pulani, Mpulu, were brought in as replacement. Kiba, eh, Nabatuba. Leisurely put a total of 74 IEC what? Out of 74, the EFF has 70 confirmed active and fu functional uh, branches. functional branches. Towards this third provincial people's assembly, EFF in Free State, in uh, the region managed to successfully launch 67 branches. Uh, 7.1.3, Fezile Dabi. The regional command of Fezile Dabi com comprised of 21 members out of 21. Only 21 members are active. Accounts for various deployment. RCT has met 10 times since being elected into office. Plan to ex uh, for execution various organizational programs. Amongst others was, imp was to implement directives of CCT and PCT, communicating with branches an additional of 200 new membership per branch needed to, to be recruited before the end of 2020. Uh, moreover, the region complied with CCT call for fight, to fight against racism, closed click stores uh, situated in Fezileda. Region successfully held several programs against gender-based violence labor desk, anti-corruption demonstration, service delivery protest 2019 to 2022. The region also engaged in other campaigns including RCT, political induction, common, commemorative uh, events, oversights uh, to schools, other public institutions, continuous cleaning campaign, Red Friday's recruitment of membership. First letter have been engaged in various election activities. The region was also instrumental in mobilization for ninth anniversary also participated in ensuring that we establish student command structures towards uh, PSA and NSA, the Sovunanyankan campaign. The RPA of Fezileda Abi elected fighter April Mutaung as a regional chair, fighter Selwan Mchiane as a regional secretary. Out of 21 directly elected RCT uh, at the third RPA, the region lost three members due to abscondment. Fighters Bakwe Natini, uh, Jabulile Mdise, Fighter Palisamulu Mulamu. The region remains stable with 20 members active. Norma Mlinda being the only active member in the entire inactive member in the entire collective. The first letter of this region is composed of 12 females, 9 males. After making three co option fighters uh, who were co opted. Ah, fighter Walter Kumete, fighter Maitem Sigiri, fighter Nom. Eh, kiba na batuwa. has 73 IEC words out of 73. The EFF has confirmed uh, 65 active and functional. Towards this uh, third provincial people's assembly uh, of EFF in Free State, the region managed to successfully launch 66 branches. Mangawu. The regional command team of Mangawu comprised of 21 members out of 21. Only 20 members are active, account for various deployments. The RCT has met 18 times since being elected into office to plan to execute various organizational activities, amongst others, was to implement directive for CCT and PCT communicating with various branches that an additional 200 membership per branch needed to be recruited. Moreover, the region compiled, complied with CCT call to fight against racism, close many click stores situated in Mangao. The region successfully held programs against uh, gender-based violence, labor te uh, task programs, anti-corruption march, uh, service delivery protest, engaged in other uh, campaigns. 
Seabonga Gara Ring RCT, political induction, commemorative events, oversight towards uh, oversight to schools and public institutions. Visit to schools report to have cases of racism within region. Continuous cleaning campaign, Red Fridays recruitment. Manga we engaged in elections campaign during 2019-2021 uh, local government elections. Region was instrumental in mobilization of ninth anniversary. It has also assisted uh, student command with PSA and NSA and so funda nyengani campaign. Mm. Student command let's call it have a rule and sell to the family jarele moralo alo. Even a little bit of a third RPA of manga we elected fighter hopulang as a regional chairperson fighter mpom ramatlam as a regional secretary out of 21 directly elected RCT of the uh, at the RPA. The region lost three members due to resignation, being fighter Cecilia Cecilia Komako, Kinelo Tsweu, Nongaba Musuzwan. Region remains stable with 20 members, with fighter Gloria Maswabi being the only inactive member within the regional the entire collective. Mem Mangawung RCT is composed of 10 females and 11 males. After making three co-options. Fighter, fighters who were co-opted are Fighter Mamatla Pimohozi, Nonsoko Lomacheti, Pito Magao. Kibana Batua. Manga Wung has total of 51 words. Out of 51, uh, the EFF has confirmed active 39 active and functional words. Towards this Fed Provincial People Assembly of the EFF, in Free State, the region managed to successfully launch 46 branches. 90% entry. Karipi, the Karip regional, elect, uh, regional command team of Karip comprise of 11, uh, 15 members out of, out of 15, out of 21. Only 12, Regional command team of Karib comprises of 15 members. Out of 15, 12 members are active. On uh, account for various deployment. The RCT has met nine times since being elected into office. Plan for execution of various organizational activities, among others, was to implement directives of CCT and PCT, communicating with branches that then additional 200 members per branch needed to be recruited by the end of the year. Moreover, the region participated in Black Lives Matters. Uh, you must not be surprised why Haripisa participated on issue at leak at leaks. There's not leaks in in Karib. <laughs> so that's the reason. I fight out when participate in Tunyat Leaks. So they have also assisted a uh, processing uh, student command towards P PSA and the NSA. The third regional people's assembly of Karib elected fighter Mpoza Mulai as a regional chairperson, fighter Mwenge Zintakani as a regional secretary. However, due to illness of the regional secretary, fighter Khatiso Diteo had to step in, act in, uh, in place of a uh, fighter in Taka. Out of 21 elected RCT at the third RPA, region lost six members due to abscondment, fighter Lekhonolo Mohabi, Palesatau, uh, Sophia Tafani, uh, Tembi Silekaba, uh, Nongkoli Seko Waka. This fighter called Tembisile, every time why I am about you have to look at a man's ass. Every RPA. A master of my feather, two members due to resignation, fighter Ditaba, Sibonyani and Alfred Magandela, who resigned to become region, regional administrator. Region remains stable with 12 active members, 
u fighter tele ko porota siani dike ko ni madie being the only inactive members in the entire collective our city is composed of eight females seven males after making three co-options fighters who are co-opted are fighters siani dike and libua joang mangai lebo hamot eh ke bana batho eh has total of 23 iec wards out of 23 iec wards eff has 20 confirmed active and functional wards towards this provincial people's assembly of of, of the eff in free state the region managed to successfully launch 20 wards ya tsa ba ba ipotsa gore wa ga ripisa di launch di le 23 dinyana na e phatlalletse mo le ga ripi what what that day dia so ko di sa mar those fighters they are doing uh, wonders uh, there in ensuring that re ba mo mo relente owing to that the organization could not afford to pay Okay, under disciplinary matters, if I just this. It's fine, it's fine, fighters. I will make a summary on other issues. Relax. But you need to know these things. It's your report. The province has probably, uh, the, the provincial, uh, the province has a provincial disciplinary committee which consists of three members with provincial deputy chairperson fighter Matlomula Majaki as a committee chairperson. Fighter Makopano Mohono was the fourth member who was then appointed as a committee prosecutor. However, he later resigned owing to, the, to that of, uh, owing to Owing to that the organization could not afford to pay for his legal for his services at that time. This situation has put the province into a compromised position where from time to time when it, it has cases had to rely on national prosecutor for assistance. The above mentioned situation has affected the pace at which our province attended to issue of DC. Furthermore, the province was seized with 19 matters. The then disciplinary committee could not process. 18 of these cases due to lockdown regulation by the time the organization uh, by the time organization integrated to visual way of doing things, the three month period of, of prosecution was already over. As a result, we could not prosecute those who did not attend uh, plenum and ed in other areas as well. You would remember fighters three months constitution and code of conduct during. The committee processed a case which led to, in, uh, to initiation of disciplinary hearing against Mweke Zimuremi, the then regional secretary of Fesledab. Fighter Muremi was found guilty and later released uh, from his organizational duties, responsibilities, uh, amongst others. Amongst other reasons, being inactive, not fulfilling his organizational responsibilities. Fighters, I will not dwell much on GTU. Uh, provincial chair spoke a lot around issues of GTU. So it will be just a repetition on, G on, duties, on issues of uh, GTU. I will not uh, dwell much on issues of... Uh, Labor, labor desk, chair covered them. And gender issues, chair covered them. Wait, fighters. Otherwise, get a debal. Finally, in conclusion, fighters. In conclusion. We finally wish to take this opportunity to thank CCT deployees to our provinces, to our province. 
and all Crown Force and leaders of the EFF whom we worked with during our term. We might have stepped on each other's toe at some point, but never defocused us, nor move our eyes away from the ball because we all understood our generational mission and that gigantic task which were before us. Also, we say to the incoming leadership of Free State, 2024 is around the corner. Much greater battles are yet to be fought against enemies of progress, counter-revolutionary entities. The victory of EFF will depend solemnly on our unity, tolerance of each other, even the, at extreme difficult times when working together may seem impossible. We are saying this because it is this disunity, intolerance of one another, amongst other things, that stand in the way of organizational growth. Let us not make this thing about us because the, the organization belongs to the people of Free State and South Africa. Ours is to build, serve, unite, grow this beloved organization of our people. To the delegate of Fed Provincial People's Assembly, let us all use this platform to robustly sharp and sharpen the spear of economic emancipation. Before this is the only, before us, because this is the only weapon to use against the ruling party and subsequently remove it out of power and the ruling class. Because Papa is a ruling class and a ruling uh, elite. It is our collective responsibility. Okay. As we are busy consolidating the ground to one socialist power, we must not commit mistakes of ignoring the reality that civic movements are mushrooming in each and every day, that they are contesting space of the EFF, especially in bigger areas like Matabo Mufuzanyan, where we are expecting to receive majority of votes come 2024. Formations such as MEP 16s and others must not find expression, comfort, where the EFF is and exists. We must continue to agitate and close all the ranks. It is our collective responsibility to ensure that the ground is fed, is properly canvassed, locked for this opportunistic political popcorns which have, not interest, or which have no interest of our people at heart. Fighters, we must at all material time use assemblies of EFF as a platform for solutions, robust engagements. Assemblies should not be seen as a platform for hands clapping, voting, squabbles, but festival of ideas, solutions, and robust deliberations. Commissars and fighters, let us continue to build the branches of EFF, ensure that we leave no stone and turn until we attain economic freedom in our lifetime. It will be wrong of me to leave this podium without wholeheartedly thanking staff of EFF in the province of Free State for their unwavering support, administrative, administrative support. Your commitment towards this organization Will not, will not go unnoticed, fighters. You continue, to work, you, you, you continue working well with incoming... Please continue working well with the incoming leadership of the province in ensuring that administratively the organization is ahead. Furthermore, desist from involving yourself in differences of leadership because you do not, they do not concern you. Always treat leadership equally in the same manner. Remember that you are, you, your service to, to these leaders is service to organization. The ninth anniversary of the EFF is one memorable event which brought people of Free State together at, almost, at the most difficult time when many had lost hope in politicians and political party. We are thankful to the leadership collective of EFF for trusting us 
with such huge responsibility of organizing hosting festival of the poor, we want to assure you that Free State will successfully host all future events that will come to our province. We say to this with confidence. We say this with confidence because we know that Free State is the home of EFF. Fighters, commissars, that was a report of our going provincial command as elected by second PPA in 2018. I thank you. Amanda Amanda, Amanda, fighters, uh, I'm not supposed to make this announcement, but I'm aware of it. I'm not Lunch, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. We're dealing with the final report. It's very uh, comprehensive. Provincial Secretary, fighter, Sipati Nanyani. Provincial Treasure, actually. Amanda, Amanda, my mother was a kitchen girl, my father was a garden boy, that's why I'm a freedom fighter, I'm a freedom fighter, I'm a freedom my mother was a kitchen girl, my father was a garden boy, that's why I'm a freedom fighter, I'm a freedom fighter, I'm a freedom fight, that's why I'm a freedom fighter, that's why I'm a freedom fighter, that's why I'm a freedom fighter, I'm a freedom fighter, I'm a freedom fighter. Amanda, Amanda, don't leave our commander in chief, don't leave, don't leave our treasury general, don't leave. Kena, when I delegate Kena, forward EFF, forward, forward EFF, forward. Uh, thank you, fighters. Uh, fighters, allow me to present the, the EFF uh, treasury report of the free state from September 2018 to October 2022. Fellow fighters, there, uh, there stand the, the, the table of the content there. Uh, let me go straight to the, the, the introduction. Let me take this opportunity to greet all leaders and delegates uh, of the third uh, people uh, assembly of the free state. Indeed, uh, Times flies fighters because it was just yesterday when we were elected in, uh, into the office of the second PPA, which took place in 2018. And today we are gathered and similar arrangement to account on our work. We must report to you that the counter revolutionary forces have made every effort to uh, try to dismantle the only move, uh, movement dedication to the liberation of African ch children. You must also know that the key weapon of the hands of the enemy is the media, while the key weapon of the hands, uh, in the hands uh, of the EFF is you fighters, the downtrodden African child member of the EFF. We are here today uh, to further sharpen and weaponize the EFF, we are consolidating the ground towards socialist power. This report of the Treasurer Office covers the, the, the work done in the period of September 2018 to October 2022. 
notwithstanding that the fact of uh, COVID-19 restricted us from uh, performing our daily responsibilities with ease and taking into consideration the meltdown of economic activities in our province, we are pleased to outline uh, our work as the Office of the Treasurer in the province as stated below. Uh, overview. The Provincial Treasurer Report will provide a, a comprehensive overview of the organization's uh, existence within the broader capitalist establishment of South Africa in the Free State Province. Furthermore, it, is pro it, it will provide a brief overview of the subject and objective challenges that a socialist party faces in terms of resources and mobilization. The, the report will then go on to provide a critical diagnosis and analysis of how a socialist organization ought to operate in terms of funding itself when it exists in op opposition in to the dominant economic order. Moreover, it will provide insight into the ethical problems that arise politically in terms of fundraising. And it will attempt to suggest how the EFF can model itself on other progressive liberation movement who have faced and, and same challenges internationally. Subsequent that, it will provide an account on the EFF's contribution of legis uh, to legislation around political party funding and how this is rooted in the EFF consistent stand against corruption and the capturing of the state and its institution by external actors. Since its, of, is, since its formation, uh, fighters, the EFF has made able to establish uh, co coherent systems that ensure that we have a presence in the, in the free state regionals, uh, regions and sub-regions, which office uh, that... Manja, please, I remember the provincial treasurership. To sum up, Alutu fighters. Okay, let me continue. To sum up, what follows below is a perspective on the financial positive of the position of the EFF, the journey we have traveled thus far financially, and challenges we have faced since the second PPA. The provincial treasury, to together with our regional counterpart, managed to make a, the hashed one million membership launch a successful one by organizing passes of all Mar Mangaun sub-regions. It is worth not noting that tents, toilets, and water were made available on that event. June uh, 2019. The strategy, the strategy was hatched by, uh, by coming up with the soccer tournament and ex uh, entrance tickets were then printed, but the tournament couldn't materialize due to uh, conditions of the weather. Organizational resources. The effectiveness of the organization depends heavily on its people and their contributions in terms of both talents and financial resources. The, these two variables form the, the, the foundation of the sustainable and independent organization. Uh, and the mismanagement, therefore, fighters will lead to failure. Therefore, the organization must make sure that it has strong human and uh, financial resources capacity. In its formative stage, the EFF was dependent on contribution by party members. Furthermore, party members made available their houses as a meeting site, elected operation centers, and places for volunteers to rest during and after organizational work, provided their vehicles for organizational traveling, contributed food for volunteers, printed pamphlets, and provided printers, computers, and other infrastructure. 
The organizational report, fellow fighters, a Nissan NP300 is under the control and or under the authority of the Treasury. And whenever there is an event, the Treasury makes sure that it uh, obtains the fuel so that uh, it can do the responsibility at hand. Uh, when we disclose the donations, fellow fighters, uh, on May 2022, the Treasury Office uh, coordinated to the student command with funds in respect of transport to the Provincial uh, Student Assembly. Uh, when coming to cleaning campaign that was uh, on June 2022, the Office of the Treasury uh, 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 assisted fighters with uh, butter, bottled water during Red Fridays and cleaning campaign and also provided the food after the event. The, the campaign that we are talking about, uh, fellow fighters, was held in Mangaung uh, that at St. John uh, Church. I so wish you were there, fellow fighters. Mushangone, Reja, the KFC, Renoir, and Azadi Hasi. Uh, the fundraising, August 2019, um, the, women gal the Women Day Gallery uh, was, uh, gala dinner was organized and tickets were sold uh, and the proceeds were used to buy bra uh, branded EFF tablecloth for a province and the, the remainder was then banked. Uh, February on, on February 2022, the Treasury Office did a fundraising of the EFF Provincial Planner. Held, uh, it was held for fighters at Glen Lodge in Bloemfontein. And we managed to raise 20000 though the, pro the process was spent in acqu uh, acquiring the venue and also providing food uh, for the event, Lohana more for the fighters, uh, the, the, the office of the treasury, Eli Zahore, uh, that plenum, that provincial plenum, will be very much successfully. And I keep doing my own other fight, he's like, I'm going to go, it's not easy. It's a funny deal. February 2022, the hashtag one million membership, fellow fighters whereby 20,000 were raised and were spent to pay the buses to, uh, for fighters to be able to attend. Uh, hashtag one million membership. And then we also make sure that all the sub are, 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 are there, together with uh, the treasury of the, the region. Uh, finance administration, all finance affairs of the organization are uh, 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 centrally by the Office of the Treasury General, uh, who also is a chief custodian of all organizational funds and properties. The challenges that we had fighters won. The Office of the uh, Provincial Treasury, together with uh, the collective leadership of the province, intervened on the number of issues that were brought to uh, our attention by students, which includes uh, NSFAS financial who were struggling to get their funding in time, students who were struggling with their accommodation allowance. This means that, fellow fighters, the Office of the Treasury was not uh, uh, looking for the money. It was also assisting uh, the, the challenges concerning uh, uh, other people outside. Due to the country and the world being under the lockdown emanating from the COVID-19 pandemic, the Provincial Treasury's Office could not implement most of the planned program. As a result, we were little to minimum activities from the Office of the Treasury. Uh, fellow fighters, the regulations since COVID-19, the regulations since COVID-19, everyone can attest that. Uh, fellow fighters, due to, uh, let me, where I am, I am lost now. 
due to the country and 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 uh, world being under the lockdown i mean i mean it <laughs> oh number three fellow fighters okay a bank account was opened and on behalf of the province on the seventh on the seventh of june on the seventh of june uh, 2019 and was later closed by a bank uh, uh, because it was owing its, uh, it was it was owing its, uh, in, it's, it's, it was it's, it was very inactive uh, fellow fighters. Uh, number four, it was extremely difficult to fundraise at the beginning of uh, the second uh, PCT terms. And this can be uh, attributed to the fact that we were new in the office and that new working relationship with funders were yet to be established, owing that the organization had uh, to pers persevere and work with the little resources that it had. Fellow fighters, matata ke nga lona kana ko ha re sa qala o kena ka ka ha ra office ya treasury ha re fetsa ho ho tswa ko second PPA ine re ha re fitla di funders ndi ne di hlalosa gore eh ha ile lona ha re letsepe ene it was very hard to introduce ourselves to the funders ngo re di re tsebe ho di tsebe ho re fa di challenge we once re ko pa le ngolo uh, we must uh, engage the owners baba from the EFF but uh, unfortunately fighters etse uh, ukawufela di ka batsa amohele hore re fumane mangolo a a a a re dumelang go kokota ho hle mo re batlang ho kena ding number 5 the organizational bug is one uh, is one concerning issue which need agent and immediate attention the province has been unable to provide petrol for the use of the bike and most of the time the mpls had to pour petrol out of their own pockets number 6 uh, as a growing stepping stone the province must find more ways to raise money and be in a position to fight to to fund events and the remainder saved in the bank account. In conclusion, fellow fighters, uh, it is our firm conviction that fundraising remains an inter integral aspect of the day-to-day -day running of the organization because no organization on pol or political formation can function fully and effectively without a steady financial muscle. We therefore encourage fighters and more especially branch treasures, to continue an, uh, identifying implementation uh, 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 imp uh, implementable funding uh, strategy that will generate money to the effective implementation of the organizational progress needing finance. Lastly, fellow fighters, I take this opportunity to thank the outgoing leadership collective of the province, commissars who were deployed to our province uh, for the guidance and fighters who we worked with throughout the, the term. Thank you very much. Amanda. Amanda. Uh, fighters. Kikupavela, just a minute of your time. Secretary General, you are the line of march. For the reaction of the show. Kikupavela, you are the one who is the one who is the one. Then discussion is the report. You are the one who is the one who is the one. Amanda, 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 Viva EFF, Viva, Kula EFF, Kula, Kula EFF, Kula, Kina Fighter, Kina, Kina Fighter, Kina, 
Amanda. No, thank you very much, uh, Deputy Chair. Let us thank the Provincial Chairperson for the report, the Provincial Secretary and the Provincial Treasurer. Uh, let, let us thank you, delegates, for your maximum discipline. We appreciate it a lot. So what's going to happen now? Because these are our reports. So I don't want you to engage these reports and you are hungry, you want to sleep. You must go in the refresh. So that when we come back, we engage all these reports thoroughly. Because this is the report of the PCT. It was not the chair, it was not uh, the provincial secretary, it was not the treasurer, it's a PCT, all of them combined. So what we're going to do, we're going to take time now, it's quarter to five. So we're going to go and take time, they've prepared uh, our lunch this side. And then I said, because we eat a lot, we need backup. So that I was going to sit down, I was going to Come back today, see a So So arranging backup. So we are just eating. 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 We are We are We are We go there. There's a place there where We can sit. Then once We have uh, done, we give other fighters like that. I think we are working together. Yeah, we do it in that way, in an orderly fashion. Everyone who are here, who are your leaders, everyone is going to be, made, we're going to make sure that everyone is being looked after. If there are issues, we are here on the ground ourselves. That's why we are saying we are not supervisors, we are here with you. If there are issues and troubles, we're going to suffer together. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to take uh, lunch now, and then we'll come back at half past six. At half past six, yes, sir. We are engaging the reports, and we are proceeding. Go on, it is all sevens. Yes, I'm very busy. So that you know, we remain working. Because Kolabanda was irritated. Those ones, he get it fully. So let's take lunch. And then the DOR is here, is going to guide us uh, in a dignified way. All of us will be looked after. We are here for any issues. Then half past six, we are back seated. We continue with our program. Amanda! Amanda! Thank you very much.